Welcome to the Wild Magic School Bus. This Dungeons and Dragons podcast may contain fantasy violence, language, and most likely a mimic or two. Content warnings can be found in the episode description. All right, with all that out of the way, let's buckle up and open a back window, because it's time to start the adventure. But I'm glad that uh, Toe Campfires made it into the conversation. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Wild Magic School Bus podcast, the most unprofessional D&D podcast you will probably ever or never hear. Uh, I, of course, am your DM, Calvin, and these are the knuckleheads that are the players. Let's go ahead and say hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Keep going, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Drew. I play <laughs> Zeph, the draconian something or other. Uh, Warlock. Jesus. And this is actually my real voice, so uh, I. I won't make your roll a deception check. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm Will. I play Galit Kazidi, a lizard folk artificer, and I'm going to try really hard not to touch the mic tonight, but the foam is askew, so if I'm if I'm off all night, that's why. Do it during the intermission. Why did you point that out? Oh, my Just God. do it during the intermission. Do it during the intermission. Got it, band name called it. Okay. That's really good, actually. I really like it. And I'm Liz, I play... I was in in high school theater. <laughs> I play Ohiana, the tiefling bard. What's her name? Ohiana. No, what's her name? I said, I named Real Liz, name. Liz. I said that first. Oh. She's, oh. Everyone just, Y'all were just talked over her. My name is I was Ohiana. looking at her the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> I just Au revoir, I Ohiana. I was distracted yeah, by the mic covers. Mm-hmm. Speaking nice. of beautiful names, my name is Preston, <laughs> uh, and I play Lucius Kane. See? Uh, as of our warlock. <laughs> uh, I'm Michelle Pfeiffer. Uh, she's rootin', she's tootin', but she's not highfalutin'. I play Kenneth Quinn. <laughs> oh, damn. Whoa, that was neat. I know, I know. I oh my gosh, you're, I didn't know you were an Asimore. Could have been calling him an asslock this whole time. Please, never. <sighs> mm Wait on, wait on, yeah, you're yeah, the last one. No, yeah, okay, Asian's back. Uh, my name's Matt, and I am TBD. All right. TBD, baby! Matt is back in the building. Leave it at that. Yeah, easy enough to do. Don't even need to know your race or whatever else you do. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, he told you his race, dude. He's Asian. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about his character, but you know what? We can just, that's fine. Um, <laughs> real quick, I think I mean, this is theory? kind of. Is that a thing? No. There is something there. Mm. There's probably there's something. Mm. There's probably something there. Uh, real quick before we go into the actual game, yeah. uh, I, we're close to like 500 downloads on what? this thing already. Humble brag! Wait, we talked about it. You don't have to lean forward. It does pick your voice up very no, it, well. In big moments? Yeah. I'm going to lean oh, forward. You can't see any of those, right? You can't shout out like... Joe. So no, I don't know who. So it doesn't tell me who, but it does tell me like the amount of like unique downloads that I get, and I think it's at like it's getting close. Like it's over 450. I can tell you one. Hey, Will, when are you gonna tell everyone that you made a macro? Huh? A bot. Why that, are you whispering? <laughs> oh. oh no. Uh, so one person for sure that we have is uh, Snap at work because his Spotify is on the work computer. So I subscribed to him. <laughs> Well, nice. Thank you, Snap, for not realizing that you subscribe. To Incredible. Uh, Nate Dog, this one goes out to you. I, I can't be sure if somebody Ooh. named Nate Dog listens, but like I feel like it's oh, a good chance. Oh, then why sure would you? I think he's Nate, Nate Glizzy Nate. now. Oh, Nate. <laughs> what? That's not the. That's a deep cut, bro. Uh, Eventually, Nate Dog will stumble upon this. My, yeah, Nate no Dog, if you're out My there. sweet little announcement has been thrown over the bridge into no, the water. No, dude, we're all just barking for the Nate Dog. Nope. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Do, it oh, do it again. Do it again. What? No. Do it again. We'll behave. No, no we do won't. It again. Oh. No, we won't. No, this is it. This is how we're doing it. Make the dumb bus noise. Wait. Because it's time for episode eight of the Godscar Chronicles. I'm an adult, dude. So the last time we were here, our band of adventurers had recently recovered from a 
quest to the farming communities outside of the Copper Cove in the Brasslands. They had been tasked with learning uh, why a grain mill had ceased function. Uh, Upon investigating it, they discovered that the grain mill had been dismantled by strange mutated stone rats who were seemingly uh, distorted by some strange obelisk that was found inside uh, the grain mill itself. However, investigations into what it was and what its purpose was were thwarted quickly by the magic enforcement known as the trappers. Uh, Finishing your task, you headed back to the Copper Cove, were paid by your employer, and sent on your way to accomplish any other tasks that you wanted to find, determine you were given the uh, mission to maybe seek out the responsible party that blew up the ship that brought you all together to begin with, uh, Henry Fenlow, and see where his whereabouts were. You were also given, one of your party members was given a job as part of their monster slayer profession to investigate a strange well and the happenings around it to see if maybe there was some ulterior motives involved. Making your way to the residential district of the Copper Cove, you found yourselves in a large crowd of people all surrounding this strange kind of circular grassy area in the middle of these buildings and cobblestone streets uh, with a strange little fountain that lined kind of one side of it. Uh, There were many people all lined up to take a look, partake, whatever, of this strange water, and many large enforcement-like individuals who were keeping the peace, it seemed. Having a quick conversation with one of the locals, you found out that it had only been there a few days, and strange machinations were happening to everybody, seemingly all varying from person to person. Uh, After determining that you needed to take a close look at the well, one of the party members chucked a bunch of gold into the crowd and dispersed them rather quickly. (laughs) And that is where we pick up, where all of you are now have a straight line of sight. The only thing barring you is probably the four or five kind of burlier half-orc or orcish individuals that seem to be kind of keeping the peace, as it were, uh, in front of this well. But... Really? The path is open. Most the the entire crowd, because of their terrible role, uh, had all rushed over to the ten gold that uh, Lucian had tossed into the road. Lucius, Lucius, it probably <coughs> should have thrown that in silver. It's only going to take about ten seconds for them to pick up all ten no, of those. No, no, see that fight over there. St- Let's not talk about it. Let's take advantage of this situation. Yeah, well, I mean, I think Ooh, now's I the think time to... Uh, fighting over the single gold poise. Like, yeah, they roll terribly. They are literally scrounging for it, so... Uh, right, right, um, uh, we proceed to the, the fountain. Okay, so yep. you guys make your way towards the uh, fountain. And again, it's a very simple fountain. It's uh, two tiers. There's a larger kind of like... It's almost like a pillar that kind of comes up to about chest high with a little bowl that kind of dips out and the water kind of falls down and it spreads out into these troughs that run about 10 or 15 feet to either side. Um, so it's a little bit decorative, a little bit utilitarian. Um, but as you guys are moving up to it, you can immediately see about three of the larger uh, individual enforcers who were watching the crowd kind of disperse, turned to all of you and was like, oh, hold on, hold on, one, one at a time, one at a time. And one of them kind of holds his hand out and just kind of looks at all of you. Do you want me to throw more money at them? We- no, no, no. I wouldn't do that. Let us all throw together. <laughs> okay, okay. Hold on. Uh, Please <clears throat> and thank you. Wait, so what is the thing about this uh, this here fountain? What's going on here? Before I pay money, because I don't really know a whole lot about what's going on, so I'd like for you to explain uh, before I pony up anything. Yes, please. You pay a silver and I'll give you a cup of water. That's expensive water. Hey, what's the... Where's the... the, Hey. Purple water. Is the the fountain nearby? The fountain's right behind him. Hmm. What's so special about this cup of water? It costs a silver. Right, but like, what What, does it do? Who... Who would pay a a silver for a goddamn cup of water? And what happens... Lots of people, like... And he points to the crowd like they were all but, lined up to but buy why? it. What is the product? Like, what is, like, what makes this water special that it's worth a freaking thing? Oh, thank for? you. The boss says it's magical water. Is it boss? boss? Nice. He, uh, 
Bosch, and at that point you see an individual who kind of has a little cup and he's setting it down and he turns around. What could put... Where are all the people? You sent them all bot? away? And you can see standing before you this tall, lanky gentleman, his dark blue skin uh, mm. with these kind of humanoid form but very fine features. Mm -hmm. His hair is uh, tied back into a, a ponytail that kind of like almost flares out behind him. He's wearing not well-made clothing, but he's made it look well-made. Mm -hmm. um, he seems to like present, he's trying to Thank present he himself. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put it. Um, but he kind of spins guy. around yeah, sure. uh, and sees all of you mm -hmm. and uh, walks up to the big guy and he's like, what did I tell you? You keep them in the line and then you they give you the money. What, what more do you need from... Hey, little fellow. They want to know about the water and what did I tell you to say? It's magical. Very good. I'm sorry, folks. It's a silver cup, and you need to get in a single fire line what if you would like. What does the magic do? Oh, my dear, it's magical water. I don't All know. All right, everybody keeps saying as much. But what does it do? Are you aware of the powers of magic? What does it do? If it was actual magic, there'd probably be trappers here. So why don't you shoot straight with me, buddy? We heard mm. the trappers were not... Entirely interested. Well, that's because it's not con it's not magic that I'm casting. It's magical water. Listen here, were... they they take care of magic that's being cast. I'm sorry. Cast are any of not... you are, are listen... you a part of an organization? Are you here to enforce something? Uh, actually, now that you mention it, uh, we're both members of uh, the Draconic Ordinance, so I believe we have uh, some semblance of jurisdiction here. So, the Draconian Ordinance. That's right. Never heard of them. What does it mean if you've heard of us? It doesn't change our jurisdiction. No, no, you... no. No. What? Oh, no. I'm sorry? Where are you from? Where, where am I Where from? are you from that you've never heard of the Draconian? Never mind. Never mind. Uh, this guy's an idiot. Um, all right, so here's the thing. We've had a few run-ins with trappers before, and that kind of nondescript with how they handle magic. It's mm. like, magic exists, it's ours now. So the fact that magic exists and it's not theirs means... I don't know, I might speak for the group. Uh, Kenneth, I think you might agree that I think you're full of shit. Did you eat recently? <laughs> I assure you, good sir, <clears throat> I am not full of shit. I am merely... Insight! <laughs> <laughs> he just really got Didn't to even get to finish the sentence, so go ahead and roll. <laughs> full of... Oh, it's a... It's a twelve. Mm hard to read. You are not very insightful, friend. He's, he seems... He doesn't seem... Half you can't full. tell. So he says, like, I'm not full of shit. I'm not... Yes, thank you. I am merely full of leveraging oh. an opportunity for profit. This water right. is magical. Sir, it what? needs to be... Uh, yes. What is your name? My name. Yes. Remy Pierre, at your service. <laughs> Have and I heard of Remy Perfect Pierre? Sorry. Be before you were um, peddling supposedly magical water, hmm. what have you been doing to earn your key? Oh, my dear, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Not I'm, uh, paying attention to current events or anything, mm, really. Clearly not. I'm more of an entrepreneur, as it were. Mm. I find... Entrepreneur, if you ask me. I nailed it. Stuff that you do. He nailed All right. it. Hey, I look. have sold manure in the past, as it were. <laughs> I'm merely a... Proprietor of opportunity, if there is an ability or. Sounds like you're selling shit again. Bingo. Do I know him? Ah. Uh, no, you do not. Okay. I don't think anybody here would know this individual. From Pierre? V. Remy Pierre. <laughs> v. Like Pierre. the guy from Pierre Water? It does have I think we would know who Pierre, Remy Pierre. Pierre One. <laughs> the imports guy? Yeah, the imports guy. Pierre, right? Oh, I should have <laughs> saved that name for that. You Damn it. should have. You should have. All right. All right. Just Come let on. us in on these brainstorming sessions, my dude. <laughs> True. Nevertheless, I assure you, I am not full of it. I am merely using it to my advantage. So, if you're not any part of any organization, you don't have any papers enforcing me to not sell the water, I would appreciate if you either move along... Speaking of papers, could you please show us your business license? You know, your license to peddle water in the street. There is no law against peddling water, is there? Uh, public water? Yeah, afraid there probably is. 
Oh, I'm sorry, is this, is this public water? It's from the fountain, is it not? Yes, and who owns this fountain? It's in a park. Yes. Oh. Uh, do you own this fountain, Remy Beer? As a matter of fact, I do, my dear. Don't swing. <laughs> but where's the paperwork? <laughs> what, are you going to roll insight to... Yeah. Go ahead. I will tell you the DC is much higher. Oh, well, I've got it. Uh-huh. 14. 14. <laughs> Nail it. Still Too don't know. Last time. Still uh, don't know. Improving. You know, he makes a good point. Maybe we uh, should pop on as down he, to as the he office. Reaches, and... As he reaches into a belt and pulls out a small piece of parchment and displays it, just kind of like out in front of you. As you can see, it is my name on the title, so this fountain belongs to me, so I can do with it. And he snaps it back up. However Damn I it. wish. No. Damn it! Looks good. <laughs> he seems legit. Hey guys, can I talk to you all for a second? Uh, Remy, we're gonna we'll start the line maybe in a minute. You know what? Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll stay here and hold the line. Yeah, I'll well, no, I think let's let's. I mean, we could have a real quick conversation. Uh, not with Remy right here, it, his goons. Here's five silver to hold our cups, just in case we come back. Bingo! Hold us front of the line if you would, please. Thanks. Very well. He takes um, the five silver, puts it in. Hey, uh, so I would like to kind of like shush shush the group away from him, like, out of ear, ear sure. shot. Sure. Ear sight. Easy enough. Uh, yeah, ear sight. Uh, so if he's got... That's not very far. <clears throat> it's up to you. So if he's got jurisdiction here specifically, what if we went under the ground and found the source of his water? Um, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. There's a good idea. However, he simply held up a piece of paper with his name on it. And he held it up far enough away that we couldn't actually. Very see it. convincingly, though. Hey, listen, could uh, could pothole maybe uh, find a little pothole and scurry underneath there? I mean, he's not his scurrying days are over. Mm. We might be able to holler at someone else down there, and I'll look back at pothole and see if he's got anyone else uh, that could be of contact down there. For clarification, what were we charged with mm-hmm. doing here? <coughs> uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yep, he's he does. He's got out. someone, and I just run after him. You're going to follow a bottle? Yeah, I mean, if he's, like, apparently he took that as law that I have to go find my contact underground. He so. goes about 20, about 30 feet down an alley, lifts up a grate that's, like, leaning against the side of a building, and goes down into it. Chit, guys! Uh, and I just oh. cast message to whoever isn't with me that mm-hmm. I'm going. Uh, you actually can't fit. It's about that big around. Pothole is, like, size-wise, he's pretty heft. He's a he's a steel defender. He's a he's a small creature. Oh, is it classified yeah, as a small creature? Yeah, okay. classified as a small creature. I believe. Oh, we, need to, my... we need we need to beady. I need I need to beady. Let me um, double check. I don't want to screw it over. <clears throat> don't don't there, throw right? the kid down there. <laughs> did you come running with me, or did you say in the? Oh well, I'm with the rest of the group. I mean, he's pretty much the only one small enough. Yeah. Of the party, I think he's the only one small. Oh no, I've never said how big I was. I'm only two and a half feet tall. Holy crap, dude! I forgot we were talking about this no, in our brainstorming session. <laughs> that That's all of our characters are under isn't four it? six. <laughs> Inconvenient. We're all really tiny yeah. and can fit through small breaks. All of our backgrounds is that we were gymnastics competitors mm-hmm. growing up. So here's what I will say. So a steel defender, ninja. according to the stat block, is a medium construct. Mm-hmm. But I'm going off of a kobold, which is a small creature, mm-hmm. and making it believe that you made a. a you know, like a two-foot-tall little, yeah. like, droid. Like an R2-D2 size okay. thing. So that's what I was going with. Okay, I was going with something more along the lines of, like, that display case, but sure. Oh, no. I imagine pothole, like, yeah, and like, needle. Like, well, because yeah. the thought is, like, his whole body is contained inside of just the back-to-tank of it, and it still has the little stubby legs and arms on top um, of that. To be fair, uh-huh. the entirety of Kenny Baker fit inside the model of R2-D2, so... And Kenny Baker was, like... Almost four foot? I, no, he was. He, I mean, he was a he's dwarf. Dwarf. Guy. To be fair, there was also Nerds. unsafe working conditions. Yeah, that was very true. Wow. Okay, well, we can work out the details later. Point is, he jumps he down a little great. Yeah, he fits. He fits. You don't. He greased himself up. I can't grease yeah. myself up. Um, he just grease just question. comes out of him. <laughs> Answer. When Remy shoved his uh, puppies, mm, the. Parchments like, away. <laughs> is there a <laughs> way that I could like sneakily steal it? Sure. Um, since, we, since we talked How? about it, since we talked about How do you sneakily steal it? it? You're not a rogue this can't be. <laughs> no, but she's, but she's, really, she's really good at it. No, she, she'll <laughs> figure it out. I'm sure she'll figure it a out. Plus three is really good. Uh, plus no, plus six. Stealth is plus three. Uh, but sleight of hand is six. Yeah, but, that's it. Hey, it's, hey, it's up to it is up to you. 
Um, so I imagine that I was standing next to him, and when he went to tuck the parchment like back in his pocket, mm-hmm. I just like I saw where he tucked it, and then just as he was talking, just. So before the group moves, just mm-hmm. so I'm clear, you would yes. like to try to take it back from him. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. I believe in you. I will roll a perception check you, you before you do anything. Been? You're bored. Inspire yourself. <laughs> I can't do that yet. That's I level four, three. You can't inspire 14. yourself. No. It's level fourteen. It's fourteen. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah. It's pretty it's a ways. Strong. It's a ways away. And that's when you like drop like d twelves on yourself yeah. and everything. So, um, okay. So he's rolled his perception. Go ahead and make a side of hand check. Are those new dice? Yeah. They are new dice. They better. I got new dice today. They better do you right. I hope they do. No, they're, do they're gonna do them great. I mean, not that I'm threatening you, dice. <laughs> I hate everything. In the tray. In the tray. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. What was in the it? Tray. Low. Very low. It was not. It Just was roll not it in the tray. Was it in that one? Roll mm-hmm. it in the tray. I know. In you you had the intent of rolling it. <laughs> Liz, most people, when they make Let a character, it. they think, like, what character would I make if this character were to die? Did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my next character. Oh, uh, does she have a Kendrick. twin sister that rolls better? Ho no. Iana. No, she does not. Hey DM, what happens? Uh, she goes to, to get reach out some dice to roll so, for damage list. So <laughs> she she waits for the moment that Remy puts it back in his pocket and turns to you because you asked him a question. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And when he turns to face you, she reaches over to like. Go for it, and she gets right underneath the leather loop that like has it. And in that moment, Glyph decides to like do what he said he did, which was usher everybody back a ways. And in the hubbub, she just gets like jostled and pulled away immediately, and was like, "I gotta know," and she just uh, lost. Oh, uh, you so. you tossed her a life buoy. Mm-hmm. I mean, how well, is she gonna face plant into his bosom? What do you want? No, she's gonna get her hand chopped it's off like, for like stealing. Like, it's like, a, it's like a Aladdin rom-com. style. Like, they fall on each other each other and like. <laughs> oh. Instead of grabbing oh, it, she one. caresses his leg and yeah. just yeah, that's. Yeah. <laughs> let's play that one out. No, uh, not no, doing that. No, let's not. <laughs> I'm. It only with took my to episode eight to get salacious. <laughs> <laughs> It only took till. Never mind. I cut all those out. Um, okay. <laughs> what were we role playing that the listeners don't know about? <laughs> yeah. All right. So you guys. Uh, so back to the original moment. Uh, pothole shoomp into a uh, hole in the ground, and the rest of you are all, again, maybe about uh, 45 feet away from the group, which now you can see most of the crowds beginning to reassemble and beginning to walk up person by person, and very, very D, uh, DMV style, someone walks up, hands a, p- a coin. Can I, after, oh, sorry, go on, go on. Uh, they are given a small kind of clay cup of water in which either they drink right then and there, or they scurry off and take with them places that, I mean, it's just, there's things. I would like to try to pinpoint somebody who drank it right then and there sure. and ask them, well, what are you feeling? Um, so you see a, <laughs> looks to be a, a younger gentleman, his uh, kind of sandy brown hair kind of comes down to his shoulders and kind of curls out to the sides, um, wearing just workers, like farmers clothing, looks to be some sort of like dust or like sawdust kind of covering most of it. Gets his clay cup, walks away and kind of takes a swig of it before tossing the cup behind him where it like shatters on the stone pavement. Um, it is clay cup, so it is biodegradable. I want ASMR um, of that that shatter, that, that sure. like unglazed clay, Ooh. small, thin wall. It's a good sound. Stoneware. Like just, yeah. It's a good just, sound. It is a good sound. I hate unglazed clay. Okay. Well, I'm not asking uh, to rub no, it on your no, teeth. No, 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 I'm sorry. I just. It's such, a, it's such a bad texture. Liz like does not like unglazed no, clay, okay, and we on, just on, learned Liz, it. Liz, imagine, no, see that no, nice no, sweater no, that you're no, wearing. No, imagine no, just no, rubbing no, that unglazed clay. Wow. Okay, when Liz and I go shopping, so I'm like her texture meter. I'm like, you would not like this texture. You're not gonna like this texture. It's so bad. Holy so shit. that's the that audience. That's your little uh, bit of information for the day. Apparently. Liz and Ooh. Michelle go shopping together. What if every okay. week we did a random so character he, fact? The young, ma- young man takes a drink, I tosses like the cup, and... Well, sir, how do you uh, feel after that? You watch as he drinks it and sets it down. Or he kind of stands there for a second and kind of sways. And uh, are you are you walking up to him? Make mm-hmm. a perception check. 
Perception. Oh, uh, 17. 17. You watch as one of his eyes slowly just kind of lulls backwards. Damn. And he just kind of stands there and then shakes his head and it like almost like a uh, magic eight ball little beat mm-hmm. just uh, like comes back into place <laughs> and he goes Whew, and just walks off. Sir? Just keeps on going. Does he... Did he? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. No, no, no. You go. So um, as, as I see this happen, do you think I could like approach him uh, and try to see, like, roll a mess and check and see if he's under, like, if he's hallucinating or? Uh, he's already made gone, his gone. way. Yeah, he's already. He was. He got his thing, went away from the crowd, drank it, and then left. And she rolled high enough perception to notice his just like weird moment, and then he just walked off. Seemingly fine. That sounds like um, watching people take communion. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, so that's the one you were paying attention to. Okay. Anybody else doing, anybody else approaching? You did give them five silver, so yeah. you were well, welcome to... Um, oh, wait, so we gave him money? What do we think? Uh-huh. He gave him five silver, yeah. Do, uh... You want me to go down and follow? I mean, that's smart. Yeah, I mean, my face is, like, in the grate, waiting to see him again. Sure, go, okay. go see what uh, Glyph is up to. Um... So, do any of you know, know how, like, a technique of, like, testing water for magic? Yeah. <laughs> you gonna take a drink? Yeah. All right. Do you, did you just say, go get a cup? Yeah. Okay. So, you walk up, you give him your, do you give him a silver? Uh, oh, he yeah. had it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you get one of the silver from them, the the orc takes it, puts it under the water, hands it to you. Here you go. Um, Have you tried it before? No, move along, and he kind of like pushes you because you're not very heavy. Just kinda, oh, no, <sighs> to the side. Do you take um, magic? You taking a drink? I don't have it. Uh, let me check. Can I check my? Let me check my uh, features and stuff. I want to see if I can sure. be a little bit wacky, a little bit crazy. No, can I roll a medicine check on that? Sure, make a medicine check. Medicine. I, I'm, I'm it doesn't it. have medicine in it. Well, I want, no, I'm seeing if it's poisoned or like hallucinogens or something. 17? 17. It looks like water. Uh, hmm. It doesn't seem to, there's no discoloration to it. There's no smell to it. It, uh, it smells a little minerally from like, obviously from probably an underground water source of some kind. Um, but it definitely, and it is cold. Um, wow, okay. It, it, I mean, not super cold, but it is colder, but it All does right. not look like anything's been messed with, tampered with, or anything is in it. Of course, you are looking inside a small clay thing, so you can't, like, yeah, I can't, like hold it to the side. Okay. Or anything like that. Hey, guys, should I just take, do one for science, or... For what? I just want to see what it does. Have you not heard of science? I mean, I guess, mm. I guess for science. For I mean, science? everybody looks like they're still healthy I mean, hold on. I mean, hold on. one guy's eye something? move, but... I, I go over. What are you doing? Can I look? Can I look for uh, a young man or a young person? Sure. Can I get hey. perception or something? No, <laughs> there's plenty of them. There's people all over the place. What huh. if we give it to somebody in the line? Somebody just yells. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah no, <laughs> there. That way, that's, they were gonna take cool. it. Cool. Yeah. Right. Okay. Hey. Y- yeah. You want you want the you want the magical water? Watch what I'm saying. How about save you? Of course. Of Listen, course. stay around us for for. Don't go wandering off. We want to see what it does before we we spend our gold. But you can have this one for free if it's, you want it. It's magical water. It, right, it, I get it. Yeah, but I want you to tell you. Uh, I want you to tell me what happens afterwards. Okay, and I'll give you. I'll give you a uh, gold for it after for the information. All right. All right. Here you go, buddy. Thanks. Uh huh. How do you feel? I'm writing down clay cup. I'm with a clay cup. Mm-hmm. Well, I feel fine. You feel magical? You levitating? Well, well, of course I do. It's m- 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 magical water. It's m- m- ma- did you Do you always hey, m- m- magic like that? Do you say stuff like that? Sorry? Have name. you always had a stammer? Say magical again. Oh, I don't have a s- s- stammer. Hmm. Aw. Oh, is he well, tweaking? What does his pupils look like? Yeah, can, can I roll they a medicine look, check again? Using your medicine oh, check, okay. it's fine. He looks normal. Damn, people getting scammed, bro. <laughs> Did we just find the only asshole with a stutter in here, and I'm getting tricked right now? Yeah, I think... I mean, I, I well, feel, I think we've got all the information we were tasked with getting. Find out what's happening Is he here. feverish? No. In the, okay. my, my butt is but, in um, the, the well. I can't but, but, but zap, 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 zap. There's a mystery. 
<laughs> oh, right. Well, that's what we're going to tell them, right? There, there's a well. They're selling the water, which evidently they're allowed to do, and the water seems to do nothing except for give people slight physical ticks. Uh, well, Uncle Orwell said that there's strange incidents going on. What's strange? Well, is there any strange? Not to inc- interject, but I came because my I dislocated my shoulder yesterday. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, working in the in the fields. Which Come, shoulder? This one here. I, I f- f- feel much better now. Can I? Uh, this- may I uh, examine your soldier, your, your, your shoulder soldier? <laughs> not, not a soldier, but yeah, you'll. It's you're, just what I call more, me. more than welcome to. Yeah. All right. I'll take a look at his shoulder. Make a medicine check. Can I do it with advantage, seeing as I was probably trained in some amount of field medic stuff? That is bullshit. <laughs> That's really. That's good a stretch. <laughs> Don't tell me I have put this in my backstory to have proficiency, and you're gonna say I, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> why? Why does my fellow player have to call that out? Because mm. okay. I will. I will. Thank you. Yes, you should want me to succeed. Then I do want you to succeed, but in the oh, in the correct manner. Crap! Manner. I have a minus two. Don't. <laughs> What's That's the point. opposite of proficiency? <laughs> Seventeen. Oh, do the math. Do the math. That's right. <laughs> a natural 19. With a 15. Nope. It was a natural 19. I gave you the final. Okay. That was a right. 17. So a 17. Yes. With a 17, sir. you can tell that his arm seems to function fine. Doesn't look dislocated. Does not look dislocated. This is BS. And you said that your arm was dislocated yesterday. Yeah, it popped out and then popped back in, and it was it was aching something fierce. But I took a drink, and now it's fine. Okay, so the water didn't cause it not to be dislocated; it caused the pain to go away. Oh, it's absolutely gone, completely. So, I'm yes, cur- I'm curious. Um, who break his knees? Do you happen to know who the, the first person was that took a drink of this water that? Uh, felt the magical effects? Can't say I, I do, miss. I, most people just come here to get p- better, and most people do. But this is a fairly new phenomenon, is it not? A f- few days, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, sir. <laughs> yeah? If I were to buy you another cup of water. Sure. And give you another gold. Oh, shit. Would you help... Would you help us in a bit of an experiment? Well, I'm all for it for m- <laughs> more money. <laughs> what if all we right. OD this guy? <laughs> I'm, I'm very sorry about I'm this. Gonna go uh, I'm gonna pee right now. Could someone grab a cup of water? I'm just gonna be a moment. And yeah, I'll go grab it, and I'm gonna okay. eye the guy. You the whole spent time. three silver now on the gold, so you have Man, two we of those just, silver really left. Just helping the, I just, the I just reach over and like pull his arm out of socket again. Oh my god! Oh, and then put it right back. Make a strength check for me. Just over here abusing people. With advantage. No. Nope. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. You violently pull at his arm. He's like, ah! What was that for? Does it hurt? Well, yeah, you yanked my arm. It, so it still hurts? Well, yeah. It, All right. Def- All right. Tell me when it stops hurting. Give him the water. Okay. Give him the water. I'm looking at his eyes. He takes a drink of it, and I I feel great. Your arm doesn't hurt anymore. Not as much. Still move it. I mean, you should have cut him. No. Does it feel better since drinking the water? Yeah. Well, case solved. Is there any 
Um, is there anything else you need? Oh, thank you, you, by the way. No, here, here's... Well, oh, wait, don't go anywhere. No, you want me to stay here? Very enthusiastic. You are very willing, and uh, we, we shouldn't let this guy go. Is there... I'd just like to drink the water myself. Okay, never mind. Bye. Have a good one. Uh, he begins to walk away, like, whistling and, and with the coin. Um, okay, so you walk up and get a cup of water. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you go ahead and drink the cup of water. I would like to... Um, so Oshana would <laughs> okay. love to uh, uh -huh. stick her finger in the water first yeah. and, like, taste it. Just okay. to see if she tastes anything off kilter. Her Make a perception check for me. Perception. <laughs> I believe in you. Hey guys, welcome to listening us uh, drink water for 30 minutes. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's where we're at. Stay hydrated, folks. That's a nat 20. Oh, Ooh. thanks. So, for a total of 22. Okay, with a 22, it tastes like water. It tastes like water. Cool, so then I shoot the rest of it. So it tastes like nothing. Because <laughs> water is not Water taste. does have a taste. Yeah, we're not going to get water into this way on better podcast. than water anywhere else in the world. False. Anyhow, so you, take, you drink the cup. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I have it? Do I need to make any sort of saving throw? I'm about to find out. Okay. As she's drinking it, uh, mm -hmm. who was standing next to Zeph? Or, yeah, Zeph. I, I mean, I, I'm chilling with him. Okay, so you three are together. You went to get water. You're looking at the hole still. We're yeah. going to get to you in a second. Okay. Um, the three of you, without much of a perception, notice the gentleman who you just gave two cups of water is walking away, just like having a good time. He shoulder checks somebody accidentally as he's flicking the gold coin in his hand. And as he does, like the guy like swings around and goes, "Watch where you're going." And he's like, "What do you mean, watch where I'm going?" And they like both like bellied up to each other. This was this is probably you know 120 feet away yeah. as he was leaving. It seems to be you know a little bit of a hubbub. And he's, they both kind of like went at each other, like, "What are you gonna do?" And you know, seemingly you know, I guess he is very aggressive for some reason. Uh, Calvin, and you know as, how confrontation. As work. they did that, the sausage. As they did that, they one of them kind of pushed the other, and you watch as both of them immediately <laughs> vanish. What? Meanwhile, um, <laughs> you take a drink, and you don't know what it is, because this doesn't exist in the world, but essentially, it tastes like sparkling water. Any particular and that, water. Buzz, water? that buzz that goes down your throat and into your stomach stays. Huh. That's it. Wait, so as, as I so see we just straight up guys, watch two people disappear in as, thin air. As I see the guys they disappear. They vanished from sight. I Can turn I, to try to stop her. Oh, it, already, it happened simultaneously. too late. Yeah, it happened simultaneously. Wait, no. Oh. Mm. I'm going to push over here, Anna. Listen, don't get in any fights. I make no guarantees on that. Mm. She's going to get in the fight. I just watch that guy who DM. drank the water. Yeah. I'd like to shove Ohiana. And he and his com fellow combatant disappeared. Well, fine. Make, make a strength check. With advantage, because they're just perfect. Oh, wait, what is that? <laughs> <Same one. laughs> Four. <laughs> Four. You push her. She doesn't move. All right. Just checking to see if you disappeared. I wasn't trying to be, you know. Meanwhile, you, much like the sound of, like, water coming through a hose, like, you know that sound, like, mm -hmm. you hear the sound of, like, metal clanging on stone as the grate opens and pothole sets himself up out sound. of the hole. Oh, thank God you're back. Uh, that was sudden. I mean, I, I know you, you went, I asked you to go, but I didn't mean, like, just go. Hold, I mean... <laughs> Okay, so what'd you find down there? <laughs> 75,000 gold? Mate, how did you find... <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Uh, so <laughs> I just I wish that pothole was more understandable in just the bubbles, because that would just mm. make it the best. Um, <laughs> I love it. Pothole explains to you that there is nobody currently in this district of Copper Cove who can provide him with more information. Uh, however, he did he did notice that uh, the he did find a way to get to the water from down there. The source of the water. Mm -hmm. Is it is there a way you could lead a, a group maybe a little bit larger like us to it? <laughs> Mailed it. All right, hop on out of there and we can go in together in a minute. Okay. I'm going to need you to corroborate because God knows I'm not going to listen otherwise. Mm -hmm. so. And that'll do. I go back to the party with a uh, sopping wet pothole. Okay. <laughs> I hate when my pothole gets wet. 
<laughs> and at some point, I guess I bump into them. I thought I'd like that noon <laughs> day, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so before we go, I still need I I still need to ask her many more questions. Um, I'm going to walk right back up to him. Do you need uh, to, or does your character? Yes. Does Michelle need to, <laughs> or... T- I didn't st- stutter. I didn't. All right, I'm going to ask Remy. I'm going to stroll left... I'm going to stroll up to Remy again. Uh, he is... Uh, you are imposed immediately by a larger individual who goes, uh, Pardon me, Remy. I already not- paid. Let me through to talk to him. We are already having previous discourse, and this is important. It's all right. Let her through. Mm-hmm. Step aside. Smug. It's more like aside. Karen Quinn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Remy is on the other side of the, kind of like the grassy area, has a little table set up and is slowly, like, setting out more cups and, like... Shifting some stuff around, looks up at you. Listen yes, here, my I, dear. I'm still dedicated to being cordial right now, mm. for the time being. Mm. But I just saw some gentlemen drink your beverage of choice over here, mm-hmm. bump into each other, and then disappear. And I saw another oh. person with her eye off to the side and then back <laughs> in. So what the hell? That seems like a very strange thing. Yeah, it does. That's why I'm here asking about it. Hmm. But I possibly couldn't tell you. I, I'm going to grab... I'm going <laughs> to... Oh, my. You're going to grab him? Yeah, oh I'm going to grab his clothes. Mm-hmm. He's tell got three me goo- what the hell's going on. Make an intimidation check. All right. Interpose myself between her and any surrounding goo. <laughs> With advantage. <laughs> I'm, 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 no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm joking. <laughs> 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 we don't have advantage. I wish. Uh, it well, was yeah. a nine. A nine. You got this. <laughs> pushes your hand away. Listen, I know it's just me right now, and I don't look like much, but I got others with me. So you're gonna go ahead and tell me. Standing right behind her, like two inches away from her is, is me. Just I'm like, like, I'm like, I'm like ten plain, feet away. Plain face. I'll mess you up, bro. I'll mess you up. <laughs> don't mess with my crew. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, I'm talking to a literal great, uh, literal sewage crate. <laughs> Just and shouting down into it. Doing God only knows what. Like those kids at the park that have those like, Hello, can you hear oh, yeah. me? Yeah, I, love that's the, what I love those growing up. Uh, Remy Fear kind of pushes your hand away. Listen, I understand that park. you feel a sense of duty to sussing out evil in the world or whatever it is that your kind does. However, most of us here are just trying to make a coin. I understand that, and that's hella respectable. However, there's weird shit happening here, and I don't think it's good weird shit. And you assume that I am the culprit of it? I just saw two people disappear in front of my face. So where, did, where did they go? So you say... No, I saw it too. And your friend will back you up on that. I could ask a dozen people here if they saw... I don't know that we were actually saw... friends. You know, I could ask a dozen people here, too. I don't, I don't believe I want to broach that subject. Point is, it's your word against mine, my dear. And unless you have some concrete evidence as to why you think what I'm doing is illegally moral or illicit, then I feel like our business is done here. I don't think it is. Um. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't think it is. And I, don't, I don't think I it just is. saw her and caught the uh-huh. hand. Really. <laughs> No, well, I I only have a, you know what I'll do? Mm. I still got arrows on my back. I'm gonna take an arrow out. Oh! Michelle, that's a god awful idea. I say oh that as god. Will, you not think? as a character. That's oh a really god. bad idea. So you are taking an arrow out and doing what with it? I'm just holding it at my side. I'm not knocking it back or nothing. Mm. Listen. Oh my gosh. I really think you need to be honest with what you're doing here. Make an intimidation check. Uh-huh. At disadvantage. Disadvantage. All right. Let's go. Oh, that's ooh, actually ooh, really ooh. damn good, even at disadvantage, because I rolled a 17 and an 18. Uh, intimidate, uh, 18. For some reason... Your message is made implicitly clear, despite the fact that he feels you are absolutely no threat to him. He suddenly changes his tune. All right, all right. I wasn't 
Not here for a fight. <laughs> Simply here to make no, us I some know. money. No, I'm not here for a fight either. Well, I would you're like definitely this to... pointing an arrow at me now. I'd like this to be peaceable. But I, I'd also I would appreciate like it too, but now you're pointing something at me. Go ahead and put that away and we yeah, can I talk like civilized human beings. I'll put it right back. Oh, yeah. Excellent, excellent. <sighs> All right. Fine, fine, fine. But you must promise not to tell anybody. I. <laughs> I promise. Excellent. And your friends can back you up on this? Y'all promise? What? You see the tips of his wings just kind of cross, and he goes, sure. <laughs> anyway, well, I, Coffee about a week this. ago, came across this fountain, and well, this well, and I, uh, was, uh, was thirsty, so I took a drink of it, and had the most peculiar thing happened to me. I seemed to float like I was lighter than air for about an hour. When I came back down, I realized I felt alive. Invigorated almost. So I set up a whole story that I found this and its magical essences and I have been peddling it to people as a cure-all for their wounds. With some side effects for some. Mm. Rather than others. Side effects. Permanent well, yes, or not permanent? You saw this. What are his goons doing? Hold on, hold on. They, uh, they uh, when... So the intimidation definitely brought them closer, and then he kind of waved his hands, and they all slowly backed off and continued. There was only about two that were standing near him. The rest are still, like, keeping the peace of, like, the line of people, because there's still, like, 30, 40 people, like, lined up to get water. Mm -hmm. um, but the two that were standing next to him were about to intervene, yeah. but she rolled high enough to uh, negate that, all right, thankfully. So, so they're now stepping back, but all but both of them are watching. One of them has a large kind of hammer strapped to his side that is now out of its loop, and he's holding it, and the other one is kind of, like, standing there, like, flexing his hands. Both of them are, like, yeah, about a foot taller than most of the average-sized people and look like they're ready to rumble if they need to, but mm -hmm. they seem to have gotten the message to step back. You've lost me. When and by what means, then, did you acquire ownership of this fountain? Oh, that, that's merely... Yes? Oh, that's merely a ruse. It was a, it was a <sighs> trick. I have about a dozen of those people. You lied to me. It wasn't a lie. It was merely a... Absence of the truth. I told you. You know. I start crying like a broken-hearted kid. <laughs> Can't believe this. <sighs> Once trust is broken, it's very hard to repair. Right, which is why someone in my business doesn't trust anybody. Point is, I sell the water. It has magical effects, and sometimes it makes people do weird shit. All right, that's all I know. Uh, for how long? How long are these effects? Have you, uh, like those people who disappeared? They ever coming back? Or I have no other idea. Anyway, I've never I, seen someone disappear I don't before. Think he knows what he's selling, man. That's I don't. I know it's magical water. I know it kind of makes you feel better. Um, and I know it's healed some ailments. Other than that, I have no qualms with it. That's dangerous. What if someone like just spontaneously exploded? That'd be well, fun. that would be their fault, wouldn't it be? No, I don't think it would be. I think that would be your fault for peddling it. Mm, tomato, tomato. To me, it sounds no. like this water it's is tomato, contaminated it's with, with some kind of wild right. magic and it should be quarantined. Yeah, uh, and that's when I'll if you probably come that, back please. with a sopping wet uh, pothole and I'll say, hey guys, I actually found that uh, watering hole that we were looking for. If you guys would like to come with me, we could probably just go check it out, maybe have a little lunch. Okay. Uh, I'm really hungry right now. Ah, uh, it didn't seem to. You said what? Oceana is still experiencing. Uh -huh. Okay. Trying to say without saying. Sure. Found yeah. source of the water in if our business is complete here, oh. I'd like to go back to doing what I yeah, do. I, I, I mind message <laughs> that to you. See you later, Remy. Remy, Remy what? Yeah, thank you for your candid explanation. We'll work on our trust later. Right. Mm. right, Remy what? Remy what? What's your name? Remy Pierre. Remy Pierre. At your service. Cool. I write that down on my arm. Okay. So shall we go just making eye contact with the entire time? this alternative source make a, of Make a water. performance check for me. <laughs> okay, man. I'm just being weird. Uh, da, 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 what's, da. what's he doing? Performance. No, what's he doing? Sorry, I was... Writing a name down on his arm. Oh, why is he performing that? 18 plus 5, 23. And you can legibly read Remy Pierre on your arm. Oh, hell yeah. 
Jump. I was just hoping that he rolled like a two and like it says Rom Pell. Three, three loops with a Yeah, it's yeah. a weird just like scrawl on his arm now. Um, it's, it's but no, calli- it. Calligraphic. It looks so Calligraphic. Really um, okay, so. <laughs> that is all everyone's going to do. Yeah. You all leave the crowd and Remy Pierre to his snake oil. Mm-hmm. As it were. As, mm-hmm. as I'm walking back through, I'm going to be like, oh, that water. <laughs> oh, it's making me sick. Oh, I wouldn't oh, are you five. okay? Make, it, make a deception check. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Deception. I'm not good at what, deception. What would I roll uh, against ten. it? Ten. Ten. Wisdom. Uh, a few people. Uh, make an insight check. Oh yeah, she fooled me. Oh yeah, oh, you oh, unnatural one. Uh, a few people kind of look <laughs> over your way and are like, "What oh, makes me sick? What, what is all that about?" And others don't seem to. Wait, are you poisoned? Wait, are you poisoned? Oh no, no Remy, get no, back here! I'm, I'm, no, hey. What? I put I put my hand She's on them. She's gonna die. I put my hand on them and I cast Lesser Restoration. <laughs> you feel better than you did this morning. Oh, oh shit. I wonder if the trappers are gonna be in this part now. Oh, Maybe I... they'll shut this shit down. Oh shit! I forgot about that. Preston's got two spell slots, and Michelle lied her way into getting him to no, use one of them. No, I'm asthma. Wait, actually, that's a really good idea. What if we make it so that the, <laughs> it looks like the fountain is like? Spewing all sorts of wild, dangerous magic. Before this goes too far <laughs> in a weird direction, it's like, hey guys, uh, oh, Pothole right. said he found the source of the water. If we'd like <gasps> to just maybe literally just go straight to the source and see what we can find out. I okay. feel like that might be a, actually the most direct thing we've done in a long time. I don't have that. Was actually just. Can we get lunch like, afterwards then? Yeah, for sure. Well, I mean, you want to eat fish or something? It's on me. I, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure okay, it out. Okay. Let's, one thing at a time. I think, All right. I think, yeah. I, I'm really craving fish. Uh, <laughs> Zeph wonders to himself if the strange, tall, smiley man has any gold left because he has seen him give it out for days. I guess we'll find out, won't we? I mean, he's I like have really push too. A fifth grader playing Monopoly right now. Like, how much for that property? I still have that. <laughs> You don't want to save any of it in case you go to jail. No, I have it. I'm What's not the going point? To jail. I'm living forever. Well, I can make I can make 100 percent profit you know. or whatever. So it's when like you get like double it, right? Like if I spent 50 and I got 100 back, it's 100 percent profit. Mm-hmm. Nailed it. Okay, I know cool. Economics. I can make 100 percent profit. I'm making potions, man. Oh, okay, cool. Right on. There yeah. Go. Um, is that your character explaining that? I'm sorry. No. Oh, okay. Preston <laughs> I was, was like, whoa! Preston was never seen again the because the rest of the campaign we just have him brewing potions no, so we can have bottomless yep. money. Lucius is not business smart. He's just, he's, he's just, he's just... I thought that that was like the big I reveal think. right there. Like he is actually gaming this whole thing. I am like, not. What? No, sorry. I am not. Making your way... Following pothole, I assume. Mm-hmm, yeah. Pothole. The oh. party begins to follow this small little metal man through the streets as he just smell it. his way, it. weaving in and out of the streets not, for about a 20, 30 minute walk to the docks, You're good. where the hustle and bustle of the afternoon uh, sun is uh, high in the sky. The smell of the salty sea air as airships continue to land and depart at various times, dock hands carrying cargo to and from the ships Pothole makes his way to the docks and immediately veers off towards the edge of the dock uh, or towards the far end of the docks mm. uh, walking down another you know, probably about 100 yards or so Pothole stops where the docks the docks have stopped well past this point and now it's mostly just rock outcroppings and a path that just kind of winds back into the city before it hits the city walls or sorry the edge of the city there's no city walls here and he ends up at this rock outcropping where the waves keep breaking across it and just kind of stands and points down oh we got to swim hey how are you guys at swimming oh, uh, what we Oh, you said I'll go. I'll go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I can just... I can hold my breath for 15 minutes, so I'm game. <laughs> He's so. Will I don't has need been to breathe. I'm that literally for... a monitor lizard. Just kidding. Yeah. I need to breathe <laughs> still. So, you drop right into there. the rock outcropping that breaks the waves, the open ocean. How far? How far down is it? 
Yeah, like, okay. <laughs> is it not, practical to do that? Or am I just like, it's, it's, like I, I mean, I've seen that. the videos of We're not practicing gifts. the gods. We're not. We're not Bandit going. called um, it. Sorry. We're not practically gods? Okay. Mm-hmm. Um... So, to give you a bit of an, a bit of an example here, so the fire. the terrain is built into stone and wood where the docks are. Where yeah. the docks end, it turns into more of like a stone pathway that kind of follows a rock outcropping that slowly begins to turn begins to. Oh gosh, I forgot the word for it. Rise. It begins to move upward, Rise. elevate, there escalate. Was, there was a word I was saying. I Incline, increase in elevation. Any of those words will do. Grow. It begins to go upward. Uh, turning into more of a sheer cliffside. Ascend? Yeah, no, I think no, it begins, it probably, to, begins to erect. It begins, begins to ascend upward. Mm, it's erect. Begins to ascend upward, uh, <laughs> becoming more and more sheer cliffside. So where you are right now is right before it begins to go up. And so the rocks go maybe about 40 feet out into the ocean, and they begin to scatter and become more... Uh, an island to themselves and that's when the waves begin to break across them so much like uh, on the beach where you get those areas where the water just crashes in fills up and then dissipates this is kind of the area that you're now hitting before it turns into more of an upwards angle uh, to the rest of the city so this is where you are right now and Pothole is standing off the edge of the pathway because there is like a stone pathway that leads up to the city um, and pointing down into the rocks below this area so it's about maybe 20 30 feet to where the ocean hits is hitting these rocks and the depth you don't know because it's mostly white water that's like falling in uh coming down but then immediately getting washed by more waves is this the way to the uh fountain is it safe not safe oh what did he say Look, he said it's not safe, uh, technically. If you have the ability to hold your breath for a somewhat extended period of time, you'll totally be fine. So, like, ten seconds. Mm-hmm. You don't know. Or you think that might be good. This is really difficult. Mm-hmm. Oh, right, how about, uh, why don't I just, I'll jump in, see how long it takes me to find, like, a pocket of air, and mm-hmm. I'll let you know. Okay. So you're going to dive. Message me. So you get to the edge, time it for a second, wait for the water to hit and then recede. Go ahead and make a perception check for me as you're standing on the edge here. I will perceive. Ew. Uh, 15. 15. Uh, yeah, it looks like the water, it looks like the rocks uh, is is more sheer on this near this area. And it looks like the ocean is, not, is just straight down below you. So jumping about five feet, you splash into the water. Uh, go ahead and make a strength saving throw as you jump into the water. So strong. Um, okay, well, I'm going to use... Uh, the inspiration is a reroll, right? Mm-hmm. I had a pocketed inspiration from... Damn it. So, no, that's only going to be a seven. Seven. Uh, you get down into the water before realizing that, like, the undertow is way stronger uh, below the surface. And so you begin to feel yourself, try as you might, beginning to pull away from the... Uh, the cliff edge and begin to be dragged out into the ocean. Thankfully, you know that you're not going to run out of air anytime soon, but with your 15 perception, you can see that down maybe about 30 feet into the sheer cliffside, you see about five or six giant metal grates that are built into the stone themselves. Uh, it, and causing... Under the water? Under the water, yes. Fudge. Um, the grates are large enough for a human-sized individual to slip through them, um, but they are, like, they're probably about 40 or 50 feet in diameter and they're built into the stone underneath uh, the ground here um but as you're being pulled away from them now being to see them in more of a grander view you feel a uh, heavier weight press into your like back like shoulders and back and you can see like violently kicking their short stubby feet potholes grabbed onto like your upper chest and is like paddling as fast oh, as he can like a hassle uh, yeah he's and he's <laughs> propelling you ever so slowly uh, towards the towards the grates go ahead and make another strength saving through with advantage this time I freaking love pothole he's the best uh, 12 12 that's you beat the DC so with yeah so easily enough you begin to I mean you're straining but you are beginning to propel towards these grates now um, you reach the grates after swimming for another, you know, 30 seconds or so, and grab onto them. And again, they're about two foot diameter, so you can squeeze through. It'll be it'll be tight, but mm-hmm. you can squeeze through them. Yeah, no, um, and they're large people. stone tunnels that go straight down. Uh, with your dark vision? I don't think I have dark vision. 
Uh, 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 I don't think I do. If you're a dragonborn, you don't. Yeah, I'm a, just a lizard. Uh, no, I don't have it. You don't have dark vision. No. Then you see nothing but the light coming from behind you from the afternoon sun, but this tunnel is pitch black. Okay. Uh, and I don't, oh, no, no, no. Ha, ha. I have something I can do. Uh, I'd like to do a real quick little bit of magical tinkering since I've got breath for days. So sure. I'm like, I'll take a minute. And I just pull uh, my hatchet out of my pack mm-hmm. and just give a little imbuing of that. So I've got five foot radius light. So grabbing your hatchet and pulling out some small components, you begin to stitch some things together, add a bit of a liquid and actually exposing it to the salt in the water, shake the hatchet and watch as it glows. Bioluminescence, mm-hmm. as it were. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine well, you saying that down there. Yeah, I, and Paul just oh, looks at me with just like this, like, wow. <laughs> Complicated stuff, mate. I don't have time to tell you. Um, okay, at this point, it has been about two and a half, uh, three minutes Do now? I see a pocket of air um, anywhere? Any means of... From the first couple feet inside this tunnel, no, it's all it's completely submerged. Um, there are very brief moments where the waves come down far enough to maybe catch the the bottom or the top portion of the tunnel and maybe create a gap where a bubble can like propel downward. Mm-hmm. But it's very it's few and far between. So, um, and you don't know how far down you have to go. Okay. Well, I'll go for like a minute or two. Okay. And see if I Squeezing can through them. the grates, you begin to swim down into this tunnel. Uh, swimming this direction is much easier because the wall, the force of the water hitting this is kind of like pushing you Getting forward shunted. every time. Uh, and with the glow of your hatchet and the faint glow of Pothole's bio chamber, whatever you want to call it, it. Um, you go for another minute, two minutes. Okay. And after about two minutes of swimming, you finally hit a point where there is a stone wall that goes straight up and you can see there is a little bit of light coming from there. Okay, I'll swim towards the light. Okay. Uh, coming up, you break the surface and find yourself underground in a large kind of squarish uh, stone chamber where the water here is lapping over the stone like a block of stone. It laps over it into some sort of a kind of a reservoir of some kind mm-hmm. and is beginning to be distributed into larger kind of aqueducts under the water. It's mm-hmm. a very... It's a very well-run system. Like, the propulsion of the tide can perpetually keeps the water moving Mm -hmm. and because it does it falls into this reservoir and you notice the glow actually comes from what looks to be these long orange kind of tubes of uh, like brass Mm -hmm. that are all hanging just above the edge of the water and they kind of touch the water the water comes up and touches them as it laps over the stone into the reservoir and as it does a little bit of as it touches them there's like this almost like this bug zapper static that hits it and you can see that as it touches and begins to flow away, kind of the brackish, kind of like murkiness of the sand and salt of the ocean immediately like stops and floats down to the bottom of the reservoir. And the water that flows put is pushed past it into the aqueducts is much clearer. Yeah, it's a nice filtration system they got here. Ron, right, so would you say it's about three minutes altogether? It's a, it's, it's a solid two minutes to get from the, t- the, from the grates to the edge. Okay. I'm going to look at Pothole and tell him to uh, go back and relay the entirety of that message to everyone else and mm-hmm. see if anyone else is willing. The coffin wouldn't fit. I'll, t- I'll tell him to make a point to, like, <laughs> let Lucius know that uh, he won't be able to make it if he's got... Yeah, the, yeah. the coffin will fit. <sighs> I mean, I barely fit, Uh-oh. and all I've got is a tail. Let me see. I gotta see. Do you have the stone? You have the defender stats for me. I'll Actually, I'll have you roll the. Go ahead and roll the strength check for the bottle. Okay. Natural seventeen. Nice. Yeah, easy enough. Yeah, I'll, I'll find his stats. I'll pull. Those readies up. himself. Hops into the water. I guess that'd be nineteen. Back through the grate, up to the surface. Appears, shakes the water off. Uh. <laughs> Oh. This is gonna go well. I see, I see, I see. I wish that didn't happen. Wow. <laughs> what was that? So, um, should we all t- take time to time how long we can hold our breath while doing strenuous physical activity? 
Um, I don't know if I can... Use Seems to have been about two and a half to three minute travel, right? Two minutes. To, to use, I think I can do uh, it. D&D terms, isn't it like one minute plus your every... It is one minute plus an additional minute of your constitution modifier. Yes. Okay. Huh? I got two minutes. So you have two minutes. Barring oh, any minute. failed strength checks, you have two I minutes. You so. got a minute before you start to I have one minute. Do you have any spells I can help you? I have zero con. I have zero con. You have one minute. Oh, I don't have one minute. Do you have lots of con? What do you got? No, it was just one minute. Yeah, you could try it. I think that might be yeah. your, your way. Huh. Okay, hold on. I missed that class. So, so how does the trappers work? Is it like. Oh, you're plus one. If I cast a two second level spell, they would. You do not know how trappers work. Well, you know that when magic happens, they show up afterwards, but the. Wait a minute. The mechanics of how they show up or why they show up. A question. Unknown. Yes. So I have a water skin. Are we assuming uh-huh. since it's liquid tight, it would be airtight? You could say. Only thing is, he might say that it's such a tight. Like, could I use it as like an air bladder? Be able to it's 40 feet. What? You could certainly give it a try. I, I don't oh, know if I want true. to, yeah, but. Yeah. <laughs> and you could try that way first mm-hmm. rather than burn the spells off. Calvin. Yes. In in his life, has um, has Zeph realized that his wings and rudimentary flight ability actually allows him to. Swim through the more, the the heavier atmosphere of underwater at twice the speed that he would normally travel. At any point in his life, has he? The question yeah. alone. Um, <laughs> you know what? If there's one uh, thing that Drew Huff has, it's the audacity. That's you know you're not wrong. It's not audacity. Um, it's creative. <laughs> if you. If you want to use your glide ability to maybe improve your chances of getting through without running out of air. Hydro glide? You can, but you have to burn the the racial trait. You cannot just oh. say your wings make you go like, faster. I burn it and, like and the like glide. because I try so hard, like I can't glide. My wings are... Right, because you have you have it like, I think, once a day right now, and then it doesn't go oh, up no, from there. We never set a limit on it. Okay. But but I would argue that, yeah, that would be so strenuous to do that. Sure. That he no longer has the strength to hold himself airborne. Sure. Glide. Okay. Sure. Let's... Uh, that's just a, a second. <clears throat> there should be a limit on glide. We need to place one. <laughs> Oh, for sure. Yeah. Uh, give me just hours. a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, like 24 hours, maybe. Like, maybe like a distance limit? Mm-hmm. That would make more sense. Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, you can't hold that big body of loft indefinitely. Yeah. I have, to, I have to dumb, I have to falling. hit have level six. <laughs> if, if we had, if we had this encounter when I was level six, hours. I'd be fine. What? Because I don't need to eat, drink, or sleep. Uh, no, eat, drink, or breathe. Oh my gosh. That really what? plays into the creepiness of your character. I know. Is this something I love that you met me when I was breathing, and then <sighs> one day I'm just going to stop. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we talk yes, you can, you can use the ability Compromise. to <laughs> try to increase your speed, and maybe increasing the time it takes to get there. Um, we will get to that here in a second. You want to try it now, or are you... No, I'm, we, okay. we can have a conversation. Yes. I'm just wondering if this is a tactic I should even bother. So technically, yes, I do have two minutes worth of air. Sure. However, I would like to ask, and is it just in case? Absolutely. Um, I have pressed a digitation. Yes. And one of the effects that you can do of that is creating a puff of wind. However, the duration of uh-huh. pressed digitation can last for an hour. So if I created uh-huh. like a puff of wind, but like focused it like around. My mouth and nose. Come on, D. Could that potentially is the best spell in D and D. Could that potentially work? Is like a if I needed to breathe, that I could like create like a my own little pocket of air, like focused upon my face. I have a somewhat similar question, but with very different movesets. <laughs> wow, I love this. Matt with the flex. I think I figured out a way too. This is the first creative challenge of campaign three. We're nailing it, kind of. Okay. I'm kind of screwed. No, you're not. I thought you just said you don't have to breathe. 
When I'm level six. I don't know what you're going to do with level three. <laughs> no, you're good. I'm trying. Will is going to poop. <laughs> Thank you for bringing that up. Um, well, he said it, but he said it so quietly. Fair, 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 fair. I didn't want people sure going, wait, did Will? And then they're going to be like, oh, back it up 15 seconds. Yep. Did he? I don't think. <laughs> Let me look at the examples here. You don't deserve that. Just wipe it clean. I'm screwed, man. Minor trick for practice on the following round of going to sensory effects, shadow sparks, buff of wind, instantaneous, harmless sensory effects. But the duration of the spell lasts for an hour. Correct. One action, duration, one hour, ten Two hours Step out of candles, campfire, so object warm, chill. Because my thought. I, I, I pack pretty light. Loser check. Sling. If. Okay, so you have the ability to hold your breath for two minutes, yes. which is the amount of time it would take to get mm -hmm. under through the tunnel. Yes. Um, I will providing say. Nothing goes providing wrong. nothing goes wrong. Yes. If something goes wrong, I will say prestidigitation could. Could push the envelope slightly of how long it would take you to lose your uh, to start suffocating. Okay. So keep that as a last ditch effort. But yes, I like, like the idea there. Put that in my pocket. Anybody else? I'd like to go. Uh, okay. No, you go, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you said it's one minute normally, and then one additional minute for the Constitution. Correct. It is one minute right. minimum. So so then I have two as well. My thought was I have Fist of Unbroken Air and Water Whip. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if there's some way I can combine those two to create, just for a brief second, not like the whole duration, just to like I, my Out of all the things presented to me tonight, I love that one uh -huh. the best. You're going to craft uh, an air yeah, bubble. Yeah, just a quick air bubble to catch my breath so I get another two minutes. Uh, I like that. We will see how that presents itself because you have two minutes correct yes okay so barring any issues yeah, hopefully that need. should that should help you yep so we'll the go only, with them the only thing is uh -huh. when i'm attacking i guess i need to spend two key points on each okay uh, i only have three so I'm i will say like have them uh -huh. i will say we will when we cross that bridge i will determine how many key points it requires to okay. complete that we'll cut we'll get to that because we're not using it to the intent of its spell yes so we're, there may be some modification added mm -hmm. to that. So we'll, we'll go with that because you do have a few key points. But I like the idea. Cool. Did you have something you were going to do? Yeah. So yeah. since I have uh, like a water skin, yep. which I'm assuming would be airtight since it's water. You're going to bagpipe this thing into the... Well, <laughs> yes. And if there's an issue of me like getting my mouth over it and all the air escaping, uh -huh. I do have an iron pot. So I could stick that thing above it, release the air bubble into the iron pot and go. So just so we're clear, yeah, uh -huh. you're gonna dump, jump into the water, go under the water with an inflated bag. Yeah. I mean, and it's a, a water skin. How like how much resistance? Do you it's think inflated. It provides? So this much air. Mm -hmm. Have you put water wings on ever? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So breath. yeah. So, but that's not the point. The point it's, is that it's buoyant. It's yeah, buoyant. I guess. So you. Well, will, she also has an iron pot. Which is you also have not a iron pot, so which is each other out. heavy. Yeah. That you're going to try to tip upright while yeah. swimming, and bre no, it's fine. It, I am I mean, here for well, it. Listen, have you? I'm just letting out the you board? know. I am thinking <laughs> of the logistical <laughs> uh -huh. nightmare that that is. Yeah. And we'll see what happens because I love how the dice tell a story. You so we're gonna go for Hold it. On. Honestly, and I have, if I have a little pot hole as a propeller, I'll be okay. How big is the iron? Possibly. Doesn't spit so high. But you do believe it would fit over your head. Possibly. You could just just lower yourself into the water with that iron pot full of air and use it as a diving bell. It's immediately going to fill with water. No, that's how diving bells work. They don't when you lower them like that. Mm -hmm. If which you means the bottom of it horizontal, it will just hold air. Which means she has to try to swim Lined with a pot, with on, a her pot on her yes. head. I love all of this. This is why I was suggesting it. Yeah, I love all of these ideas. I do not want to do that. Hey, Calvin. Yes. So while everyone's figuring stuff out, mm -hmm. you know, just like, and I'm thinking about the two minutes, and I know my weak body can uh -huh. handle that. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, what are the other options? And I think about the soup crate. And I'm blanking, and I'm like a noodle. 
<laughs> you are. You are a lanky noodle. And I'm like, there's no other choice. I was like, pothole, show me the way through the small way. <laughs> I would like to squeeze, try to squeeze my my lanky self, like make an acrobatics check to like, see if I can get in there. Well, Pothole is going to be going back under with everybody. Okay, cool. He can yeah. point you in the direction if you Explain want. Me I just know that I can't survive two minutes. You don't think you can Cut. remember the place you just came from? I, I definitely could. Dan. Smile. <laughs> and there's no other uh, Well, I, have, I looked through my spells. Uh-huh. And I can't help. So your spells won't do Do you want to talk to your friend about that? And what if he just passed out and then we just brought him back to life? I don't know, when Paul dragged him through. I mean, that's, Do you think that you could lost? Stab his lung and get the water out. Guys, it's, guys, it's I don't that. think... I, I, I know for a fact that I cannot... Can you make yourself anything. really streamlined and, like, hold on to my utility belt? I, what do you mean? Like, that? Oh, like a Batman I, Robin I turn, I turn, like, super erect. I'm like, shoot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not going to be streamlined. <laughs> He's very streamlined, actually. Can you kick your legs? Yeah. I think we might be able to make this work. Has okay. anyone else made it yet? We no, they've all gone. considered ways to make it. So you're, just, you're just chilling. I will that. die halfway there. Mm -hmm. and I there, have only one minute of breath. And there isn't any. I don't want to throw you a bone, but I do think there's a way that it could potentially work. So, like, the way my idea is uh -huh. to cast Spider Climb and uh -huh. just like crawl like on the underside of like uh -huh. and just like Mission Impossible my way like just. The ceiling, there are air right. pockets. Right. Is there air pockets appear, in the ceiling? Uh, they're few and far between. Infrequently. But I would definitely do that if I, like... Sure. There, but there's I one other way. It would... I don't want to... I don't want to yeah, metagame, you, you but I want to, like, present you with other Maybe opportunities. Maybe roll intelligence check. Go ahead and roll intelligence check. Three. <laughs> Three. No, that sounds like a bet. Okay, that sounds cool. like a good plan. What? I don't know what to do. Well, I, I will this? say I like your idea. I will say spider, spider climb, climb will negate the strength saving throw. Okay. So you won't have to make any type of save to get there. It'll just be based on your speed. All get right. in there. Go up to the top. Climb along the top every time. Do you know you... CPR? Who? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So let's see how this gonna, is going gonna, to I'm go. Do spider climb thing. All right. Gee, All right. That was perfect. How long does spider climb last? Uh, ten minutes, I think. Oh, you're fine. Okay, so. Uh, Our. All right, so let's see who <laughs> goes where. So let's start with who wants to go first? Uh, Me. Okay. Okay. So oh, you. Well, we're all gonna roll, but we're gonna say everybody all jumps in, but we're it has oh, you have yeah, to go yeah. through it one at a time. Okay. So that's how we're gonna. So everyone jumps off of the edge into the water, trying to time as best you can. I need everybody who's jumping in to make a strength saving throw. You got so this, guys. You got spider climb. Yeah, you're climbing down, so you're good to go. Okay. Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. What are we rolling for? Strength, strength saving, saving throw. throw. Six. It's 15. 15. Everybody uh, feels the pull of the undertow and immediately adjusts to the velocity of it, except for Ohiana. Ohiana begins to struggle uh, as her longer robes begin to kind of be present a bit of a drag uh, and begin to slowly, you guys watch as she is being pulled out into the ocean. Um, Can I cast Ray of Frost to like adhere myself to the cliff? You're not technically on the cliff. You jumped into the water and were pulled back immediately. You're gonna cast it through the water, That's freezing what I was the thinking, water to like free to like pull myself closer, like back right. to it. Okay, go ahead and roll. What's the damage for Ray of Frost? Um, one d eight. And go ahead how and roll. cold it? Because the seawater will have a higher salinity, causing that its freezing point to be lower. What the hell am I in right now? <laughs> go ahead and roll a d eight. Let's see how much damage. That's D and D, you can... baby. Mm -hmm. Deny the science guy. Yeah. Drew, 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 Drew. Six. Um. That's Jerry, guys. You fire your ray of Jerry, frost. Jerry. It shoots through the water, causing the water to kind of crystallize as it goes through. Um. It is not a straight line of frost, however. It doesn't freeze into an icicle. Um, the only thing that saves you in this moment, potentially, is... Roll, please. Roll it. Uh, he rolled a... E. That's not going to be great. Is it just an athletic check or a strength uh, check? Athletics, if you want. If you, or it's a strength saving throw. 
Uh, strength saving throw. Ooh, that's only a seven. Pothole does not help you. <laughs> can, can I try to like swim out and grab her? Like grab her robes or like grab. Sure. On you her? need to make a athletics check at disadvantage because now you are pulling her along with you. Uh, oh wow, they're both a uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. You just barely managed to pull yourself and Ohiana back to the grate and allow her to grab onto it nice. to where she is uh, good to go. Uh, you definitely wasted a little bit of your breath to get that. Oh, battle. I thought we were... Oh, I didn't realize that we were under. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, I thought we were... St- I didn't realize that we had gone under yet. Yeah. Okay, I, it doesn't I matter. Everyone jumped in, and now everyone's at the grate. And so. for the record, my swim bladder isn't full. My little... Uh-huh. We have a couple of breaths of air in there. Okay, let's see if those couple of breaths will help you okay. after the time was wasted. Also, point of order. Uh, yeah. He doesn't get exhausted if that's going to play into anything. Oh, no, With him fine. ferrying everyone around. No, he's fine. Okay. It's just to see if his if he's strong enough to like combat the weight of people as yes. they're being pulled into so, them. Yes. Can I, I just get specific about how I dove in? Like, I dove in like one of those yeah. water birds diving, you know, like one of those, one of those duck Penguin. things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or like a penguin. Those water birds like in a penguin. cold. Oh. A penguin, uh, yeah. Just t- tucked his wings and just mm-hmm. s- like a bullet straight yep. to mm-hmm. the grate. As he, like, but before he leapt, he mm-hmm. cast Expeditious Retreat on himself. So even his, like, dive looks really fast. Like, just, mm-hmm. like unnatural. There's a chemtrail behind it. Yes. Him, causing the whole town to be like, hold on. That's very true. <laughs> the speed the speed of it does cause a bit of condensation. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Lord. Awesome mutations. Mm-hmm. Huh. <laughs> okay. So, Speedy. Glyph uh, is already in. Zeph dives into the water through the grate and propels himself uh, submarine torpedo style <laughs> through the water as fast as he can. Um, you only have a minute of air, though, don't you? Yeah. So I need you, mm. as you're speeding away as fast as you can, you are getting much closer than everybody else will be at this point, but I'm going to need a constitution saving throw from you. Oh, you got this one. Save. This. Frick. Frick off. No. You don't got this money. H- have you tried sleeping with a DM to get advantage? Six. <laughs> it doesn't work. Oh. Yeah. Six. Damn and... It. Is this the point <laughs> at which I would want to spend this valuable, valuable inspiration point? Yes. I have? Do you have inspiration? I do. Then you should probably roll again, my dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do too. What? I don't want that die. Two bucks again. 13? 13 will succeed. Ooh. This you, is why we make dumb jokes at the table. Yeah. <clears throat> you begin to, as you're getting closer and closer, you begin to see the light kind of, the, the darkness. You don't have dark vision either, do you? No. Yeah, so it is pitch black down here for all of you, by the way. Except for no, you, just fo- which you can see fine. I'm following the, connect- and you. the connection sure. in my heart to my buddy over here. Oh my god! Yeah, we're saying Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On, and it's just getting louder as it's it gets like, closer. Like, yeah. I tried to throw as many chaotic things at Drew, and Drew just Slushed welcomes them, them with open arms. <laughs> Drew is and bullet comes up, monk is what he is. He is li- yes, thank you. <laughs> is literally he is the the gif of uh, Neo from the first movie, where he's just like. Ba, 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 and I'm just like, bad thing, bad thing, bad thing. He's just like, science, weird words, long phrases. Ba, 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 ba. Just, I would defeat yeah, you. Yeah, just all of the, my heart will go on. Just all the stuff that makes no sense in the real world. It's like, no, this should make sense. Well, you know, like when they're uh, uh, finding the first For temple Rose. in Ocarina of Time, and as you get closer to the temple, the music gets louder. Did you call it yes, Ocarina exactly. of Time? Ocarina of Time. <laughs> That's Ocarina. exactly what Ocarina of Time. No, it's an Ocarina. No. It's made of oak, idiot. It's the Ocarina it's made of Time. Of <laughs> 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 you Matt, you don't <laughs> ever talk at the table. Don't speak up now. <laughs> I'm starting to think that he never actually played the game. Yeah. <laughs> like, he has just read about it. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> when you're in the, the Wikipedia when about When you're it. in the grass house... <laughs> Fighting the ghosts, guys. Legend have you seen Legend any of the Marvel movies in reality? Like, have these, yeah. Is, is I there, love the Legend Lieutenant of Zelda. Lieutenant North America is awesome. <laughs> the main character Zelda is so cool. Zelma. Yeah. So yeah, I, I think I picture it like the the, the home the something like, like that. Like he's singing this lullaby we both grew up with, yeah. and I can just hear it yeah, Zelda. in I'm my heart as I get closer. Sending out mind messages as often as I can. So. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, you did say it's just a pretty straight path. Really straight. It is a very like straight path. Just keep... I just, I just want to just throw tension into the moment and 
Drew's just like, no, this is not possible. It was tense. <laughs> he had to re-roll. Yeah, and then he went, it's because of this, re- it's because of some arbitrary <laughs> reason that I come up with out of nowhere. Um, Love is powerful. All right, so you make it through <laughs> to the end, no issue. God damn it, Preston. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Preston's the one that gets in trouble for this. I, I pop up out of the water and I say, I can't get you in trouble. Oh, <laughs> he pops no. up and I look at him like, Mike, do you need a song? Of course I learned the song. And we kind of like smile. And oh my gosh, they had like synchronized hatching like alligators. Yeah, yeah, we really did, yeah. So like they sing together, man. It's really cute. Who's next? Uh, swimming next. through the great, the we have Preston. Me next. Not swimming, no, uh, but crawling. crawling. I'm I need you to go ahead and make down. a constitution oh saving throw. You're like an underwater <laughs> general grievous. You're so creepy. The creepiest thing. Since, if we I, since ever I can see to, really well. If you could see it. If this, right, if this were cinematic. No, dude, I mean, it's pitch about, dark, and there's so just one red glowing like orb. Yeah, like that, dude. If he pops up like that, I'd <laughs> shoot him in the face. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't blame you. And <laughs> his pale, pale skin picks up the slightest hint of light. So it yeah. just is kind of like... Glowing shadow. This slightly lighter dark thing in a dark room. Yeah, oh. spider Are we about to find an octopus crawling. down here? <laughs> All right. Go ahead and make a constitution save with your for me. All right. Uh, <laughs> a rain over here. Can I be checked so I can use my talisman? I guess you could say he's dreadful. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> since I can see you, right? Like, well, is this just one straightforward <laughs> uh-huh. path? Damn it. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to roll. All right. Parade. Go ahead and make a constitution. Constitution mm-hmm. save? Nine. No one uses that. Nine? Yeah. Do you want to try to use the talisman in this moment? I can't. Hmm. You can. It's an ability check. You can. <laughs> okay. Hear what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> AKA, you want to use the talisman in this moment. Twelve. Twelve. That will be enough. Wow. I think that's the... <laughs> Twelve, 12 guys, is the, guys, 12 is the DC for this. We play for fun, and <laughs> me and Calvin are friends. We go way back. I just don't <laughs> want to have the debacle of everyone trying to save Preston and running out of air, because then this campaign ends with all of you dying in a sewer grate. No way, I got 15 minutes. <laughs> Wait, what if we all promise to not try to save Preston? It's <laughs> not a sewer grate. <laughs> yeah, guys, what if we all made that call right now, that we don't save Preston? The rest of this game is just Will just dredging all of the bodies back up, and everyone <laughs> Drown is like, come on, you got this every time. Oh my god, stay with me. <laughs> the real uh, Titanic the- ending. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, Dude, I think you know that could be really good for the the listenership. You're gonna be like, whoa, these guys are no holds barred. They'll kill everyone. <laughs> later, we'll do that later. Um, so Lucius <laughs> makes his way through the tunnel, uh, out. And you are yeah, definitely out of breath, but you're here. <laughs> Meanwhile, <Good job. laughs> you two, you finally squeeze your way through the grate and begin to swim as fast as you can, knowing that your Plus, air is you. severely limited. I need a constitution check from you two to see how well your breath is maintaining at this point. Not saving this is a check because Sheesh. you have oh air still. You are not out of air. Okay. 19. Stop rolling. There's a tray right there. I have faith. <laughs> no, that you, does you me mean, dirty every time. This only does me dirty like part of the time. Tyler, you're sexy. Whatever. Don't settle, Liz. Don't settle. You need to find someone who won't do you dirty ever. That's no, you, you, you find that rolling today. tray that mm-hmm. only does you. Do you want right. my dice? Hmm. <laughs> I, I was trying to bring hey. these ones in. Nineteen. Well, well, okay. You're fine. You fine. you get all the way through here. with enough air. You're on the other side. Eleven. Eleven. Oh, I know. The, so I the know. best way to break just. in a new D twenty is to put it in your mouth and stand ten feet away from your rolling tray and just whoosh, to just um, ping pong it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> then enjoy your eleven. <laughs> <laughs> it's a four. It doesn't work, guys. It's on the a record. floor, you clown. You have to make it okay, into okay, okay. the tray. <laughs> we're, d- we're not doing that anymore. I'm, I'm stopping you right there. <laughs> Michelle, you're going to get a stone dice and chip a tooth. For those oh, listening yeah. at home, Michelle put her D no, I'm sure in her they mouth <laughs> and then looped it from 10 feet away. I'm sure they picked and up missed. on the context. And missed. Yeah, and missed. We really uh, should be lost. I, I got to say, yeah. I love you. <laughs> A little bit got in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Write it down, title. <laughs> Preston, I apologize. No, it's, that wasn't it's, my intention. It's, it's fine. Um, What's great okay. is that I usually take these bits and put them at the end. This is the fourth one tonight that I've written down. This is oh, ridiculous. Wow. Some of them have to stay in the actual episode. This is great. Um, 
Nothing but tiggle bitties. That's what we got here. Oh, Hiana. <laughs> you, are, you are running out of air. Yes. Your panic is beginning to set in as your lungs begin to burn. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Um, I would like to attempt to use prestidigitation to give myself a puff of air that I can take another breath. Make a constitution saving throw. Okay. The DC is increased. It rhymes with plenty. Okay, so are you going to roll here, here, or here? <laughs> or here. Or put it in your mouth and say anything you Honestly, I recommend God, it. Please do my right eye. Like, hey, <laughs> do you want to use, do you wanna use the dice power? I'm trying. What okay. is that? Um, so 14. Okay. 14 is the DC. Oh, yes! <laughs> the power you go, the girl. I should have died. Using <laughs> your <laughs> quick thinking, you produce a puff of air that forms inside your chest instead of outside in the real world and causes the brief kind of abation of the pain before you finally notice the glow of water above you and straining with the last of your energy and breath, you break the surface gasping for actual air as you have now made your way. You also do belch air rather uh, rather unsightly. Un- mm. un- Was it loud? Oh yeah. Oh, you know crap. when you like swallow air and you're like, ooh. Just yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I'm still oh, like, ooh, echo. I've had the old accelerator out the whole time and I'm just kind of peering the horizon by the way in case something tries to aggress us. He's fine. He's your one natural 20. Make a, so you, you saved on the strength saving throw so you weren't, so you got through the grate. Yep. You're not running out of air. You have two minutes. Yep. Yeah, you are you should be good. Make a constitution, <laughs> constitution check. So constitution, just roll. Ooh. And also a con save because everyone's been peeing in the water up until now, and you might go septic if you get it in your mouth. Eight. Eight. (laughs) Um, Using two key points, Uh because it was below a ten, you, as you get to a point where you feel like you're starting to lose your air, in a moment of concentration, you shut your eyes and very avatar in the water style spin around put both hands out and feel the propulsion of air as it shoots you oh, yeah. the rest of the duration down the tunnel and you're able to pop through the surface i catch him uh, okay that was cool why is this kid like significantly more badass than the rest of us combined like i don't get it like cuz he picked a really cool monk trait which is probably my favorite of all time but we'll get into that later <laughs> Yep. Nevertheless, one by one, all of you have made it. Do I catch you? Through, yeah. Okay. Through Strength saving. the... You've made it through the tunnel into the aqueducts of the Copper Cove. This power climb's still active. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to go on the ceiling Golly. and cough off the water in my lungs. Gross. <laughs> like, on to everybody? <laughs> yeah, on accident. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get it out. Right. So, I actually have a theory. Do you remember that time that we were sent to uh, decamp that group of uh, savage uh, raiders over near, like, kind of northwest of uh, that old tree in the Badlands? The big old tree? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And we had to stay overnight. Do you remember what happened when uh, some of the, uh, some of the uh, kobolds dug the latrine above, uphill from our water source. That was when we discovered that our urine actually carried magical properties of its own. I think, hold on. Is that true? I thought it was because you... I'm asking questions about that. I'm trying to think. <coughs> Did we debunk that? I thought we... I know we talked about it. Did we ever officially say there's no way that our urine's magical? Or was it kind of... Like... Well, no one proved it wasn't. So it is. So it is right. That sound. <laughs> that sound. Logic. I mean, if you if you disprove so something, if, you prove it. Maybe what's happening here is someone's peeing in the water. That's going hey, to Paolo? that wet. Hey, do you know? Do you know? <coughs> can you start walking us towards where the the source is? <coughs> oh. oh no, he doesn't know. Are you saying this is the source? Can I make a perception check with my dark side, like to uh-huh. see down each tunnel? Maybe like sure, make a perception check. Hey, hey, bud, remember the talk we had where you said you knew how to get there? I don't, that's not no. I don't know. Is not really. Uh, they like two of them. Almost, he he relates to you. He knows where the water comes from. 
but he doesn't know where it, which which way it goes to the well. Right, we've got our silks of Cotton Eye Joe yeah. situation. We're gonna have to figure this out on our own. Pop Come hole, did all we can do. Sure, okay. of course you uh, Could I also use my dark vision to assist? Oh, you have dark vision. Oh, yeah, make a perception check. Or could oh, you I, want to assist him? Yeah. Assist and you can have advantage. advantage. Oh, that's better. 15 plus 1... 16. 16. With the 16, you can see there looks to be about four different branchings of the this aqueduct into yeah. smaller tunnels. Uh, it'd be a, a little bit of a squeeze for some of you, but it seems to be you could probably walk... Uh, Either you Can could you could stand in them. They are definitely halfway, if not more, filled with water as the water is like diving off into, like pouring out okay. from the reservoir into yeah. them. So you can go through them. The water is definitely going to be the water pressure is definitely going to propel you forward. Mm. Yeah. So whichever one you pick, you me, would have to assume goes yeah. in a direction. Um, there are with a sixteen perception, you can you do see that there are uh, yeah, on the four that are on the far side of this reservoir. There are labels on them. Oh, okay. Great. Uh, one of them reads industrial. Industrial. The, so, the, so looking from right to left. Right to left, okay. Because I want you guys to be looking at it from this direction. Mm. Over here, there's one that says industrial. Okay. One that says residential. One that says municipal. And one that says... Uh, I was going to sound clever and say I knew all four of them off the top of my head, but I don't. <laughs> the fourth one... Says restricted. Restricted. So restricted is where the garbage disposal goes to. We're gonna die. Uh, I'm just kidding. So you've seen Star Wars. You know how this goes. Yeah. Uh, so uh, so uh, sorry. Industrial and then what? Industrial, residential, municipal. Wasn't there that was wasn't the fountain located in a residential area? Residential. It was, but it was a fountain, so it might be municipal. Municipal, municipal is like city stuff. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then I think we should try municipal then. And also, it's really dark in here, right? Mm-hmm. I should have hunter's mark right, that gonna, SOB. Um, the only thing you, the only light that is in here is of the strange glow coming from like about the six or eight tubes. brass tubes that are hovering above uh, the water. Okay, let me let me cast. Is there a walkable area, or are we swimming the whole time? You're standing on a large, smooth stone slab mm-hmm. that is basically acting as a barrier to the water. That the water kind of cups over and crests and like sh- gotcha. falls over into the reservoir. And that water is then pushed out into the four tunnels. By gravity. It's, by, yeah, it's, it's gravity fed. Okay. Most of this is. But it's the perpetual motion of the ocean ocean pushing it. Ha, rhyme. <laughs> um, pushing the uh, water into the reservoir and out into the tunnels. So and then you would assume some other propulsion to push them out. Further. So the tunnel is big enough for us It'll to get into. So they are tall enough for you to stand in. Okay. But there is water in them, so whichever one you push, whichever one you go to, the water will be propelling you forward because it is it is tunneling it so it is hey, a uh, higher pressure before we go do you think it'd be good for us to maybe like do a little daisy chain yeah no. yeah oh, and also can i cast sure. oh sorry you, you go off question um, yes as we're in here obviously since okiana has dark vision mm-hmm. um would she be able to kind of like poke around and see if there's anything suspicious about this water or anything like that or if it just seems like watery water you with your pers- water. with it's your assistant perception very... there doesn't seem to be anything in here out of sorts everything here seems very right. well maintained okay. um definitely not uh, definitely not a futuristic industrial vibe, but definitely a purposeful design to this place. Okay. And nothing, if, not, if something was out of sorts, it would probably be painfully obvious. It might have more, a few more sanitary magics on it, keeping it clean. Sure, sure, sure. But yeah, it doesn't seem like, it seems like whatever the system is, is working, and there doesn't seem to be anything Sweet. odd going with it. However, you don't know what would be caught, you don't know what you're looking for, so it's safe to assume that this seems to be... As it should be. As it should be, yeah. Hey, uh, Kenneth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you know how uh, you were able to detect the undead that one time? Yeah. Could you maybe... You don't know about it, but sure. Did you, did you tell us? <laughs> I thought you told us about it because... Uh, no, I told Ohiana. I didn't tell y'all nothing. <coughs> Never a <am> man. <laughs> so, backing that up. Ohiana, or... Er, <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth, do you... Recall that moment where you? Oh, I for sure do. Okay. Well, if, all right. I don't want a metagame. However, 
We don't have a metagaming uh, creature for this campaign yet. Not yet. Metagaming. We were hoping that would be Pothole. <laughs> but all he does is say blah, 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 blah. I can make him say words if you want. No, no, no don't have him. No. Okay. no, no, he's perfect. Because I mean, then you and I could have an argument that you don't control. <laughs> Technically, you could metagame the entire game because all I could do is just feed you a line yeah. and you'd just be like, that's true, Pothole. I heard. This is, this is why he yeah. wants you to keep bubbling. I was thinking about like some like some weird... 75,000. <laughs> I should have known that was going to be he something. He said it, <laughs> not me. For me. He's just a pathological liar. <laughs> what we're going to eventually figure out is that Pothole has been feeding us a line of crap this entire time. He just oh really likes gosh, adventure he and he wanted us to come down here. He's so, so he tired of being an informant that eventually he's just like, you know what? No, I'm done giving yeah. information. Yeah. No, actually, you know what? I'm the hero in this story. <laughs> Fake news from here on out. Whoa, it's infinite sewer squid. <laughs> oh. It's cute. I don't think yeah. It's nasty, though. Okay, he just gotcha. thinks we're idiots for not knowing about the, uh, the sewer squid. You know. Yeah, the metagaming sewer squid. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Draw it. Yeah, 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 I'm on it. Sorry, Michelle, would you please draw the metagaming sewer squid? No, 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 just yell that at me. He's gonna be tiny. Metagaming sewer squid. Pretty sure I got told to make the bus sound tonight. <laughs> so what? everyone's in a little bit of a bossy mood. Okay. So anyways, um, I'm gonna cast on the, like, on my, on my, uh, leather overcoat, I'm gonna cast on the tail end of it, I'm just gonna cast light so people can see, like, the, the little tail. Just follow the glowing tail. Yeah. Okay. Call the glowing tail. And it's just like some piercing <coughs> ruby, ruby light. So, um, and it's that kind of light that like somehow is brighter in your periphery because it's just annoying. Oh yes, interesting. Worst. Very interesting. It's like yeah. other cars in your side view mirror. Huh. Mm -hmm. I'm just being special. I gotcha. I uh, love that. Like uh, the, those lights that when you look at them, special. you see them out of the corner of the eye. Then when you look at them, you can't see them anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I mean. Mechanically, they're still gonna be able to spot me. Gotcha. But that's just a special flavor. Oh, I like it because um, we don't have to look directly. Yeah, because like it. if you get like kind of like, yeah. like. Gotcha. Spin, 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 by, yep. Gotcha. Thank you. Um, anyways, I would like to climb up the municipal thing. Okay, so you're gonna head towards that one. Yeah. Uh. I'm climbing still. Okay. Yeah, and you're not using. Primeval awareness? No, I can't. No, I don't think it would apply in the in this situation. All right. I mean, it has like it's a big old bold mile. statement, but that's has, fine. <laughs> does it have? Um, okay. okay. So well, you head towards the municipal. Helpful. You feel the water kind of pushing against you, but you begin to kind of walk your way through it, um, more unwilling than willing, because obviously the water is now kind of like <laughs> kicking. <laughs> yeah. But you are heading down the municipal tunnel. Anyone else following? Wee! Of course. Yeah. Right. Uh, we daisy chained. By Everyone's the way. going. Yeah, yeah. Down we're, the, okay. we're holding uh, hands and stuff. I'm on your back. Just for the yeah. record, do you think I could have told like what kind of humanoid Remy was? He looked elven. Ooh. So mm. fave, not fave. Not, Definitely not. No, he looked okay. elven, and his darker skin drow. would his yeah his darker skin would oh, have drow. half drow. Oh, okay, half okay, drow. okay, yeah. Damn. So primeval awareness would do nothing oh, oh, in this situation so. to find Remy. Mm -hmm. It's mm. it's a uh, who's the rogue that goes splat? Yeah, an elf fae. What? Smear? Or elf fae? Yeah, smear. <laughs> smear. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Nice. Um. <laughs> Okay, so heading down the munis municipal tunnel, you go and can feel again. It's it's more of like a struggle to stay upright as the water is pushing against you, but it is not propelled in there. It's just a, it's a condensing of the water, so it's not like a jet stream of, of water pushing against you. But you can definitely feel it propel propelling you forward. Yeah. You guys are making your way through these stone tunnels. It is pitch black down here, unless there is saved a little bit of light coming from. Uh, Lucius, right? Yeah, tailcoat. Yep. Uh, from the little bit of light coming from him, but one by one, you all make your way down that tunnel. Ten minutes go by, then twenty minutes. Uh -huh. This little sob really said, "This is where water comes from in the whole damn city." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he didn't go lie, by. Though. I literally had a discussion with you guys. <laughs> and you... What the frick? After about a half hour of walking. 
Everyone what? beginning to feel very tired as you are walking through waist deep, if not higher, of water. Exactly. So waist there is a lot of there. your your legs are going to be toyed by the end of the day. Hey, shredded though, yeah, shredded. real shredded. You want to get the rock a day after leg day? Um, um, rock do legs. Mm. <laughs> I think you, yes, no true. What what contrary thing do you have to add to my description there? Well, I was just wondering. <laughs> you know, when you go to the water park sure. and at the Lazy River, sure. You know how you can do, do that kind of like half stand thing where your legs are just kind of bouncing. Oh, off the, the, bound, the bounding gate. Yeah, yeah, the we bounding were, gate. We were at the timeshare with you. We did that for several oh, yes, hours. Yes, that's right. <laughs> um, can we be doing that instead of making our legs tired? Do a bounding just gate. Yeah. It carry us. Uh, it's more of to keep you upright is the thing. Like you're okay. you're able to stay upright. But I guess like, we have been doing that for a while. Yeah. That, that well, after about a half hour, it starts to wear out. That would really bit. make me mad if we were if in it was a just lazy standing and yeah. not doing that. Yeah. No. You. Okay. It's the forward motion is helping. Okay. But just the half hour of trying okay. to stay upright in this dark tunnel okay. is starting to wear on everybody. Um, I feel a lot better. About however, it. you arrive at a. Uh, you arrive, the tunnel begins to widen ever so slightly and comes to a point where it opens. <gasps> and you find yourself in another large kind of chamber, this one rounder, and it opens into a large kind of tunnel intersection where the water collects in a large basin and begins to stretch out in three other tunnels, two going this way, one straight ahead of you, and the one you guys came from. Are they labeled? We'll get to that. You come out into this area and can see that there is what appears to be a little bit of like a lip along the edge of this entire thing where it looks like you could uh, <coughs> stand above the water. And as a matter of fact, you and you can see this because you're well, you can kind of see because you're you how far is your dark vision? 60, 60 feet. 60. So you you can see pretty much the entirety of this room. It is a little bit wider than 60 feet, so you kind of have some dark edges. Mm -hmm. You see fine because you have super crazy dark vision. Um, but you can see on the far end, on the tunnel that is straight ahead of you, on the far end of the wall, going straight up, is a ladder that leads up. Pothole, was that where you came from, little fella? Mm. So, <laughs> all right, guys, get on the lip. Follow my little tailcoat thing. So, yeah, coming out of the tunnel, you guys can definitely get up onto the sides of this thing. The reservoir in front of you is deeper than the tunnel you came through, so you would be swimming once you get out there. Um, but it is, you are in a large intersection area where there are three tunnels leading to different directions. Were they labeled? Uh, upon inspection, no, there doesn't seem to be labels on any of these. Um, actually, no, there is. Um, there is restricted over here. There is industrial over here, and there's residential over here. Okay. Cool. Cool. So residential. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sounds good. Also, what about um, if we're standing up on the lip, can mm -hmm. we like peering down into the water? Mm -hmm. It. Can you see anything that there? Given that there's no light in here, there is nothing. You, your dark vision gives you kind of like a strange, almost like a black and white, grainy view of the water below you. It's very strange to see without seeing with light. Mm -hmm. um, but there does not seem to be anything down below other than the occasional bits and pieces of just stone or earth or things that are Giant stamped at the bottom. <laughs> Large, you know, tentacles wrapped around chips down there. Nothing crazy, okay. but, you know. Typ typically something magical seems to emanate light or... A Nothing, or yeah, no magical, no just like... No, no sign that says this is magical. Not how, tall, how tall is the, like, ladder? I'm on team ladder. The, yeah. Uh, about, it's about 30, 45 feet up to the top. I mean, okay. we could pop up and see uh, where yeah, we're Yeah, at. let's just see where we're at sure. real quick. Uh, I'm gonna, can, I, can I go up? First, oh, no, I insist. Sure. Oh, sweet. Thanks, guys. You guys are so nice. I'm gonna go up. So you begin to climb up to the edge there, uh, up to the top. There I'm is. I'm not even using the ladder. There is I'm a. Climbing up with my yeah. spider climb. There is a. Uh, <laughs> there is a. I like to uh, think you are using the ladder, but you're avoiding the rungs. You're like doo doo doo, like on um, either side. <laughs> the stone, the dome of stone, uh, turns into just kind of more of a natural stone formation up to the top. But uh -huh. there is a small square cutout in the stone where the ladder has dropped down, and above you can see this rough kind of wooden kind of uh, hatch that is closed on the top. It is locked. Make a strength check. No. It does not move. Let me specify. It does no, not no, move. No, 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 no. You're really good at the strength stuff. I, I, uh, I will say I'm nice too, but I will. I believe in your strength. Wait. Natural 20, come on. Four. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you think I, it's I locked. I hang off of one hand. You think like, it's locked. <laughs> <laughs> it's locked, guys. Oh, that one's probably push, not pull. 
Did you try pushing it? I pushed it? it, man. Oh, sorry. Did you try pulling it? Pull. <laughs> there is no handholds. I, I stick my yeah, yeah. Yeah. spider climb hand on it. Like... Go ahead and make a strength check. No! <laughs> okay. 17. <laughs> 17. <laughs> you pull as hard as you can, and it begins to, you feel it kind of buckling under your weight a little bit, but it does not give. Does someone have a, someone like has a, like a thief's kit or something? Is there like a, uh, like a... There's uh, no lock on this lock. side that you can see. It's just like guys, sheer can strength. Can I just blow it open, guys? No, let's just keep going residential. Let's go. What? Uh, no, I, hope, I feel like we need to check this out. I feel like I, we need to check this out. I mean, it, I'd, yeah, I feel like I'm kind of with oh. Lucius on this one. Yo, I mean, he's I really, already climbed up there. But I tried. really think there's a whole network of tunnels, and it's, 99 of them are not going to be the ones we need. Only the one is going to be well, the one we it? need, so we should go back to the residential area. <laughs> I, I hide. Boom, I hide. And opening up as you were shouting down at your friends, you are immediately blinded by uh, afternoon. Well, not light. There's it's a covered building. You're immediately blinded by torchlight yeah. as a figure stands over the door and looks down at you. Hello, Dad. <laughs> There's a moment of pause. Well, well, hey, friend. How, how's it going? Wait. We're no fighting. way, Cran. <laughs> yeah. What, what are you doing, buddy? We're looking for some magical water source thing. Do you have anything? Oh, man. I, no, I don't have any magical water around here. Ask if he has a map. Do you have a map? A map? Yeah, of course I have of, a map. Of, of the sewer system? <laughs> oh, no, I don't have a map of the sewers. That would be crazy. Does have a map? I, I, yell, I yell up. Hey, are, it's, actually the, huh? it's actually the water supply system. Sewers are separate. You don't want those two things to mix. Oh, hey, We've guys, had sir, trouble with that before. You guys are you guys are down there, too? This is... Gr the, hey, this is truly, truly one of the best days Great, of my watch life. This. I, I, like, I put my hands detached. I'm just like Wait. upside down on the spot. That thing. is... Wait, awesome. is that Crandon? Yeah, it is Crandon. Hold on, did you say... Crandon, are you secretly evil? There's no Do I, does this look like the kind of person who inside, would be evil? Inside, inside make an inside check. check. I also would like to make an inside <laughs> check. Nine. No idea. Man, this guy sus. I don't like him. <laughs> Seems on the up and up. Just like that, me. That's crazy that you guys are here. I, I just didn't know. Hey, you're looking for water, you said? Yeah. Well, I mean, there's plenty of water down there. Is there Damn specific? You, <laughs> Is there any specific kind of water that you're looking for? Yeah, magical water, like that's connected to the fountain. Yeah, the fountain. You, yeah, the fountain yeah. water. Oh. Over in the residential uh, area. Hey, Grandin. Yeah. Can you, from up there, point, point towards the residential area. That way. All right. <laughs> Where the tunnel is labeled. Sweet. Residential. Hey, I'm just saying. I love that guy. <laughs> this Cran and Belly guy, he's number one. You'd think that for a minute. <laughs> Does he have any Well, stacks? technically I'm number two because you're always number one. Oh, God. <laughs> Stop self-deprecating, man. Does he have any food? Let's see if he has any food. Do you have any food? Like snacks or something. Give me like tack or something. Of course I've got food. All right. Wait, Cran 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 and he hands you a pile of bean sprouts. Oh, hell yeah. I start, I get a handful and put my mouth. Grandin, are we yeah. underneath your shop? <laughs> just like no, no. This is, a, this is a storage unit that's uh, not far from the industrial district. Uh, I come here every once in a while for uh, some workouts that I do. Body weight? No, no, no. Calisthenics. Damn! Oh. You ever tried prancer size and I feel like that'd be your speed. I don't know what it is, but it sounds really interesting. Ask your wife. Not it's, married. It's really niche. <laughs> Not it's, yet, man. It's Not super yet. niche. Ah, You're really out. Like I appreciate it. you. Yeah, yeah, no problem. We'll all find someone someday. I want to give him a hug and punch him in the mouth. <laughs> Crap, if you change it up, it's still Courtney Kelly. You just sound like an idiot. Courtney <laughs> 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 Belly. <laughs> it's Belly, man. Also, you did mention Courtney with her handmade loaves of bread. So, I think he is married. Marry Ooh. her, bro. Mm -hmm. Did he mention? Yes. Oh, yeah. sure did. Oh, I don't remember Michelle that. Michelle just pulled up the Not receipts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen to the product, Calvin. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we are <laughs> yeah. hard off the rails. I have partaken <laughs> of those loves in game. <laughs> <laughs> 
running close to the door to the hatch. You guys are back in complete darkness. You head to the residential district. Oh my god. I cannot continue. I have partaken of this oh. In game. In game. Oh. Oof. I have partaken of these loves. <laughs> I am I am so glad that I I pre-label all of this the most unprofessional DD podcast. Because anybody at this point who's listening to this is any rules lawyer is losing their mind right now. Like, I, this is not how you play the game. I gotta say, this episode is just a comedy thing right now. Like, we are not making any progress. No, you we haven't. We're totally making progress. We're trying. It's just like, there's so many obstacles. I don't think our characters are ever getting out of here. No, this is where you'd live now. <laughs> the rest of my campaign, out the door. It's now underground. Yeah. Nailed it. Crandon just... Drops food down. Yeah, that's. Oh my really gosh, Crandon is our buffalo Crandon bill. Is the yes, he point. doesn't oh let us die. It puts the healing potion in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is a brilliant place to take this. <laughs> wow, is this it's your story out now. It, it's your story, guys. I'm no, just I think, we okay. come back and there's no ladder. <laughs> There's, what if, what, there's no ladder. Brandon Belly's been inceptioned into our minds. There's uh, just a hose. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I think uh, yeah, residential again. might be the. Hey, did he point towards residential? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah we'll, we'll go that way. Hey, uh, Ohiana, can you make a little fire or something? Because I got torches. I don't know how well they'd work after. Yeah. I, I have light. Of course. I know, but it's so. It's really hurting my retinas. I mean. What? Never, I mean, we're You're fine. Start, we I'm starting to kind of ache under here. Yeah. Oh. I'm getting twitchy. I, I try could, to dry I could off light your it. torches with a puff of hair. <gasps> Ooh. I could definitely light one for All you. All right. Yeah. Let's try it. I'll give us a little more to work with. Going equipped with, equipped with a new direction <laughs> and a new set of lights. The party now begins to make their way through the residential tunnel deeper into the aqueduct system of the Copper Cove. Your journey is monotonous at this point. (laughs) The droning, just kind of perpetual motion of dark, lit by the faint flickers of wet torches and the odd glow of Lucius's light just kind of burn themselves into your peripherals as you walk on for another 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, making very slow progress in these small tunnels. (laughs) The the two reptilians are blissing out at this monotony and no, like, you know, just... It is, if not for the perpetual sound of people moving in a direction, this would be almost sleep tank. It's like, like... for us, it's like yeah, deprivation, like deprivation. Can, marching can just, like, drills mm-hmm. and stuff like yeah. that. We're just kind of like, can we yeah. just float like a corpse in the water? Just like, just let it take him. Just yeah, people are pushing your feet as you go forward <laughs> and walking 15 feet. And I don't them. know what yeah. I've been told. I'm dead, guys. I'm dead. Shh. I'm dead. Sorry, You're not spinning in a circle, though. You're just kind of laying lengthwise because oh, okay. there's a, a smaller tunnel. Oh, yeah, smaller. Zeph's back, but I actually fell asleep. Mm-hmm. So I've been sleeping this whole Yes. Time. <laughs> Baby boy. You guys continue down this tunnel. Let's get a fast forward. Further still, <laughs> further still, further still. I think you're so pruny. You come to the point where you notice that the tunnel is widening ever so slightly, and after what seems like forever, you are finally in a spot where the tunnel opens back up into another intersection. This one, smaller than the first one, no ladders, no markings, just a kind of a waypoint for two tunnels to cross with a little bit of a of an opening. It's at this one that you notice the faint kind of mechanical clicking of something. And as you step into this intersection, you can see there appears to be a small kind of metal container that is set off to one corner of the area with a large kind of cylindrical pipe that goes up, maybe about six or eight inches in diameter, and it goes straight up and immediately branches off into about five or six different metal pipes that go up and out um, and you can hear this as wa- as you can see what looks to be to your knowledge a pretty straightforward pumping type system that is pumping water. Potholes at the place? Uh, pothole immediately kind of starts nodding his head and points down a smaller tunnel mm-hmm. and then like just bubbles indicating that he came from that direction <clears throat> last time. So. 
but you are in the vicinity of the where the well would be or the well fountain area whatever it is where he's pointing is does one of these um pipes go down yeah so they go up and branch out and if we follow the way he pointed can we have eyes on that particular like that particular pipe that goes that direction you absolutely can um but this is where the water is coming from from Mm -hmm. that pipe just Mm -hmm. so you know um hi Could we have Pothole go the other way? Go up surface side. You use your little message thing. And he could tell us if it's been cut off or not. I mean, if we could shut them off or I don't know, man. Hmm. Maybe we just got to investigate, see what's causing all I think. I mean, things. I think but it'd like, be better to stay together for the moment. And if we have to separate again, we could. But I'd rather really not do that. Is there any enemies? I said out loud. Yeah, the I'd sh- I shoulder up the old accelerator and him. Make a make a perception check. Am I able to do that? Or? Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, I want to be heck look, yeah, looking that's for eight, man. Any, any evidence of like something <clears throat> contaminating sure. the system. Twelve. Twelve. What is it? Perception. Yep. Uh, minus two. <laughs> Sixteen. Sixteen. Not actually not that's terrible. Huh. Um, you see more than the guys who are actively looking. Yeah. <laughs> um. Using your perception, you're looking around this area. Again, it's maybe about 30 to 40 feet uh, wide, or maybe about 20 feet up. Um, more natural cut stone, but definitely carved out into this more of a man-made area. Um, the pump slowly kind of trickling and ticking on the other side. Um, with the 16 perception, you notice there is light. A faint glow, which has been... It's hard to see with all the torches kind of like displacing the darkness, but there is a faint kind of teal glow. Coming from? Below. Below. But you can't see anything because, again, Like in the light, water? Light displacement is kind of, yeah. But it seems to be coming mm-hmm. from in the water. Oh, guys, d- mm. d- douse your, your, uh, your torches real quick. I see something. I turn off light on my... One by one, everybody douses all their torches. And once the light goes away, you all kind of stay, blink for a second and take a minute as uh, the night blindness kind of comes in where you can't really see anything. But as night it slowly fades so after a few seconds, you all begin to notice that there is a source of light from here. A faint teal glow coming underneath the water. Well, would I go get it? Yeah, I'd kind of like to... Who wants to touch the water? Oh, okay. Um, um, it's at this point that you can notice that this area is still about chest high of water. Um, there is no, like, deeper area of this point. This is just kind of like a, a pump and just kind of a system set up here. Um, so mo- kind of wading out into the center of this little room, you can see the teal underneath you, but it is not... You're not diving... You're, there's no, like... It's still maybe about Grab it with your five toes. feet of water. Yeah, well, I'm going to alligator swim. So you dive down into yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diving down in, you can see this water has been kicked up a little bit. There's a little bit of uh, silt and a little bit of mud that comes from this area. Um, but down in the water, you can faintly see that there seems to be some sort of a blue, like a teal, almost like ring of light. Kind of like if you were looking through murky water at a pool light. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Down, at the, down below your feet. Mm-hmm. It's about 18 inches around. I don't know. Well, uh, I'd kind of like to see if I can maybe pull it out or see if there's anything in particular on it. Like... So you swim up to it, and again, it's just light, and it's distorted by the murkiness down under here. Um, but it is a little ring of light. It's a, it's a circle more. It's not just like a ring of light, but it's like a circle disc that's like resting at the bottom of the water. Okay. I'm going to actively investigate, see if there's anything magical about it. Make it, or it, are you doing magic or are you doing something else? Because if you're doing magic, it's arcana. If you're doing it, like any other type of thing, it would be I'm doing anything trappy. Sure, make an investigation check. Worrisome. Yep. Uh, 22. 22. Definitely doesn't seem like a trap of any kind. Definitely doesn't look like... From what you can tell here in the water, it doesn't look without actively like coming up on it and like putting your face up to it. It doesn't look like anything. It doesn't look like a device. It doesn't look like a trap. It just looks like a disc of light resting on the bottom of the well, I'm water. Just gonna go ahead and pick that thing up. Mm. Okay. Um, the rest of you are all out the, up above the water, looking down. So you guys can kind of faintly see the darkened silhouette of. Uh, 
glyph as he is uh, down there glyphs. looking at the can't disc. Can't see him well enough to know that he's No, it's just all distorted because, yeah. yeah, it's kind of murkier down here he's been walking. Sorry, 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 I that. checked it. It's single shit. Hmm? Your accent. Can we say What's that we sleep in with a little bit of a short rest so I can get a key back? Honestly, that's kind of he funny. Sure, he oh, we'll go with that. We'll, I'll fun. give you that. I, th- I appreciate the the creativity uh-huh. there. Um, as you reach down to like grab the edges of it, your hands pass through it, and immediately it feels as though you've stuck your hands inside a jet stream. Uh, I need you to make a strength saving throw. Yes. It fell off. Does that still count? Does it count? Yeah, if it was good, I would have taken it. Three. Three? Oh, no. You guys watch the darkened silhouette of Glyph as he gone. Awesome. Can I attempt to send my um? What are what are we calling it? Your body. My body. Well, it is. It is. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> my uh, pack to the blade. My my utility tool. Uh huh. Um, like one of my arms, just like launch it after him with with the grappling in grappling hook form so just uh-huh just my, the make it glow make an attack oh my gosh I hope your grappling hook gets sucked in and then you're whoa, you're right in there with I have another one no, no I'm saying you get stuck in there too attack mm-hmm. with the grappling hook yep mm, actions attack grappling hook it doesn't have any shall I just call it a dagger if you want to, yeah. Did someone say he was blessed? What? Uh, 21. Not yet. Does 21 hit your AC? I'm going to level up. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm an 18. All right, so you sh- shoot it out. It goes towards the disc. You feel Bless purchase. Me. Make a strength saving throw. Don't get, don't roll one. Can I help, like, brace him? Can I, like. What's your roll? Yes! Yes! <laughs> Cliff and Zeph, back you watch, again. You all watch. So this is simul- This is in an instant. You watch. He disappears. <gasps> you watch Zeph shoot his arm out. This weird scaled grappling hook shooting out of his arm into the water before immediately whoom, into the water towards the disc. Gone. Okay, okay, okay. Are they dead? Are they dead? Uh, are they dead? Both of us have gone through. Can, you disappear. Can I roll, can I roll, now I'm not even worried about what's on the other concept? side. What does he do? Oh my gosh! So, He's, uh, are you on his back? Yeah. Oh no, I was awake. I'm not on his back. At this oh, you woke up. I thought down? you were yeah, taking okay. a cat nap for key points. He already did that. He did oh, yeah. in the tunnel. When we yeah. discovered okay. the thing. I, I, okay, you got down when we discovered the thing. Right. No, so when I see that happen, um, <laughs> what I was gonna do, which is why I wanted to get key points back, was my water whip technique mm-hmm. and try to like. You want to water <laughs> into the water? Three times. So it's like now that <laughs> so you okay, tried to save me, you got to to brace the kid. Okay, like. Your turn. You, are you in the moment trying to water whip him, or are you going to after he disappears water whip the disc? Uh, well, the disc. Cause I figured there wasn't enough time. What if they like, deactivate the if disc? If you want in a split second to reactively yeah. try to grab him, what do you want to do? For you can do dish? that, but if not, you can go for the no. disc. That's fine. No, I'm, I'm in shock right now. So okay. I'm a, uh, yeah. He has gone. So in uh-huh. our yep. You're so you're gonna dad. go for the. You're gonna go for the disc. Yep. Uh, try to grab something. In okay. The disc he around. yells, "My two dads!" <laughs> I'm definitely gonna try to brace him as best as I can. This is such a great relationship. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Healthy co-parenting. No. Give me just a second. I'm going to go ahead and try to read the st- uh, what the uh, uh, water whip only talks about attacking, so I don't really know. Okay. That. <laughs> I don't really know that I can use it for what I'm trying to do. I mean, with like Indiana Jones, he uses his whip to grab things all the time. Yeah, he's yeah. done. He's definitely done this before. Um, so let me give me just a second. Pull the person twenty feet I'm closer to me. 25 feet. My character's gonna be such a good support. I assume uh, object? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take a... If they're movable. You can spend two key points as an action to create a whip of water that shoves and pulls a creature to unbalance it. A creature you can see within 30 feet, you must be made to the same throw. They take bludgeoning damage. For initial key, you spend and either be knock prone or pull it 25 feet closer to you. So you too much damage, you knock it prone. So... So... It doesn't technically make a save, but you cast water to uh, try to grab it. Yeah, and I pull it closer to you. Yeah, to try to pull it closer to you. Um, no effect. Can I roll our contact? It is almost as if the water didn't grab anything. 
That's weird. Hey guys, I didn't, couldn't grab uh, anything with uh, I'm the I'm so work. sorry for your loss. A key point? <laughs> <laughs> of a key point? <laughs> oh, ouch! No. <laughs> What, what do we do? We uh, what do, we do? Uh, arcana. Do arcana, yeah. I, 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 I'm gonna be like, do you, I, I'm gonna roll arcana. Make an arcana an... check. <laughs> Holy cow. We... I'm not rev. I, uh, I think it's five. Five? Yeah. No idea. Uh, do I just throw my life away? Hold on. Let me flip a coin. We're all going in. The coin okay, goes into hold on. the light. I'm gonna jump in and touch it. Yes. Oh, I thought the circle closed. No, it's still there. Oh, okay. I'm gonna jump and touch it. Guys, I have no clue. Make a strength saving throw. I'm just gonna... Make a strength saving throw. I have my stew to this. <laughs> Five. Five. <laughs> Go on. Oh, now we're saved. There's and now we're And now we're down to three. Remember that time in the other campaign where we went to like a sand pit mm -hmm. and uh -huh. reverse time to save us? Uh huh. That was terrifying. Oh, Rihanna. Mm -hmm. It's gonna happen again. Mm -hmm. We don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? I have no idea. There's no like other I come out from the water, guys. It's fine. It's <laughs> Wait, now it's my two moms. You guys can, can just I do your own campaign now. Can team? I see either of them from where we are? We're gonna get to that. Okay. I'm Nick. afraid to damage Nick. it. Like Nick. if I try to like, do something, I think it. I don't. Are we at a point where there's a ladder that goes up to like? Nope. We assume that. Crandon pops in again. Nope. Where'd your friends go? <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. The bells browse. What if this is a, just an advanced water filtration system, and then our bodies are disintegrated and we're turned into water? Uh, stop. Stop. No. <laughs> no, we're turning to the magic. Where did your redneck accent go? How do you know about water filtration? Because I'm not Kenneth Ray this second. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> but you need oh, to be. When she talks like Michelle, she's Michelle. Mm -hmm. Yes. I try. Hmm. What are you about this? Kenneth I'm, is freaking the gal. <laughs> and Bryce and so we just sold. <laughs> did we just go? I... I I can't do go, anything go else. Go wet. So, do we um, attempt to get the, the to ring? Be, or do we... Um, just go through one of the tunnels, or where do we? Where? Oh, um, I'm gonna use primeval awareness to see if I can I can tag on to the the dead dude in the coffin. That's incredibly reductive, man. Oh, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredibly reductive. <laughs> I love that. We're very PC here yeah. <laughs> when it comes to Bruh, creatures. It's incredibly. <laughs> Hang on, I need to now, <laughs> need to now look at this one. again. Now, Calvin. <laughs> Give me just a second. Five, four, three, two, Calvin. It, it works. It just says if they're present within a mile of you, this feature doesn't reveal the creature's location or number. Okay. You already have my number. You. Okay. <laughs> it would at least tell me if he's on this like plane right here or not, yeah. or if he's someplace else, so. Yeah. Is he within a mile? Nothing. Uh, holy shit! Oh, then we died. They're not. Listen, they're not here. That's they're awesome. not here. Else I know. I, I'd be able to lock on to Lucius if he was what, here. What would TBD do? Where's he going? I gotta go after them. No, no, it's because no, of me, right? no! Please, 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 please! Oh, please Hiyama, don't. we listen. Together's better than apart. <laughs> I think. I just I give you a knife once. You mean <laughs> just true. go through? I don't know. Can I try to do an Arcana check on this thing? Make an Arcana check. Which mm -hmm. dice? Which mm -hmm. dice? Man, we're just dead. <laughs> that's wild. Oh, that's good. We're not dead. Uh, that's 18. And we spent 18. half yeah. the last one in the astral plane. We'll be fine. With an 18, that's you cool, can feel that there is some sort of a barrier between whatever that is, that source that's out there, and where you are right now. That that is... You can't see. It's It's... You cannot see through it. You cannot see it clearly. Mm -hmm. But whatever it is, there is a magic that is emanating from within it. Okay. Oh. And that is all you know. The hunters marked us, man. <laughs> I know, I should have. It's like up to like, what, like 10 miles away? Yeah. I think they're just delaying the inevitable. No, I'm not. I'm trying to think of something clever. And you said there's... No other like exit or anything. There's a tunnel. Or the, There's other tunnel. There's other ways you can go. Going. Yeah, it just keeps going. Your dads are gone. Touch okay. that button. I don't know if we have time or we don't have time. Mm -hmm. Just touch that button. We might be on combat on the other side. Yeah, we could be getting stabbed yeah, right now. No, we are stabbing, bro. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, we're the I stabbers, think I'm going. We're stabbing. shooting. Yeah, I'm going. You're going. Uh, come on. As they're debating, I dive in. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Welcome to Tabini. Uh, Tabini. 
you're not resisting? Nope. Then you don't need to make a strength saving throw without it. I will. I will try to pull gone. it up if I'm going down there, though. Pull what up? The the, the, the thing. The okay. hoop. So you I mean, go might as well before I go. Make a strength saving throw. It, it oh, that's damn good. good. Uh, that's Ooh. a nat 19 plus damn. three. For a total of two. At 22. You fail. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Your arms are ripped out of socket because you were trying to. You reach it. down and grab <laughs> and can feel yourself finding purchase, and as you pull. You pull as hard as you can, but your your small frame is not enough, and you just feel almost like you stuck your hands inside a water jet and whoop, gone. Rolling that twenty, Luke. you just got burst, fam. What this? The point? last remaining member of the party, <laughs> who just met these people less than a week ago, not now true. Sits, Impressive. Now sits Amazing alone like inside a sewer, <laughs> well, an aqueduct, an aqueduct, with a strange teal circle and nobody else around them. Fuck it, I guess I'm going in. Not what I expected Ohiana to do, but I guess character arcs are all around us, so Ohiana jumps in. And one by one, without much of a passage of time, you all experience this motion of being pulled through the water. Instinctively some of you, I would assume, had gasped for air with the sudden perpetual <clears throat> motion, but didn't inhale water. As you were pulled, the light flashed before slowly fading to reveal not the bottom of an aqueduct, not the outside of the world, not even the ocean, but something none of you have ever seen before. And that is where we are going to leave it tonight. Yes! Well and pick up next well week. Done. That was such a that was oh, such a great payoff for a, a clown of a session. Yeah, how did we get shunted, shunted straight to a cliffhanger? That's wild. Yes. And we will find out next week where on God's Green Earth or you wow. guys have found yourselves. We're in New Jersey. <laughs> oh, Jersey. oh, God, in the campaign. I've what been did you there. expect? To We're standing. Oh, look, we'll get I'm into in that. Delaware. <gasps> but until then, thank you guys for playing. Thank you all for listening. All of you who have downloaded at least almost 500 episodes. Let's hear. Let's hope we're here for another 500 at some point. Thanks, Nate, dog. Thanks, Nate, dog. I don't even Snap. know who that is. Bye, You'll never listen to it, but I appreciate it. Thank you guys it. for listening. We'll see you next time. Later. Bye. Kisses. Yes. Thanks for listening to the Wild Badger School Bus. I hope you had as much fun listening as we did making this for you. You can catch new episodes each Monday on whatever podcasting platform you use. And while you're there, leave us a review if you want. It actually helps us out. We've got socials, too. You can follow us on Reddit at r slash wildmagicschoolbus, send us a subtweet at wildmagicschoolbuspod, or follow our Instagram at wildmagicpod. Either way, stop by and say hi. We're always happy to meet new friends. See you next time. Oh, that's right. I dude, there's so much fantasy in my head sometimes. It Whoa. is it's I it's hard to it was That was my intro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Sorry again. Damn it. Look well, me. Michelle's gone. I it's thought maybe it was because of his massive fandom for the classic play slash movie, The Boys Next Door. Never seen nor heard of it. Exactly. Is it similar to the plot of The Girl Next Door? That's why it's a funny joke just to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those generational jokes, like Casablanca references. Yeah. Are, are we... No, no, no. I can, t- I can name people who thought... White Castle. <laughs> <laughs> you caught up. I'm putting my young man glasses back on. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you. <laughs>
I've never seen, I never, I never had Drew to say fucking, fucking like combo like that. Yeah, honestly, it, it was, was like really a, good, like a left or right.